very warm welcome to the Wisink Centre in Madrid for day two coverage of the Madrid P1 Premier Paddle event coming to you live from this multi-purpose venue that has uh, been staging some terrific paddle over the last 24 hours. In fact, many of those 24 hours taken up by some long matches yesterday on the opening day, but our first match on court shortly on centre court. Piotto and Pereira from Argentina against Anguish and Nieto, the Spaniards, who are the ninth seeds in the draw. And, of course, we have three courts here being used side by side in this arena. And there's already action underway, in fact, on court three, which uh, started an hour earlier today. But uh, we are to the round of 32. It's when the seeded pairs get involved. So the quality will increase, no doubt, and we should be in for some fine fare today. Barry Milne's with you for the start of our coverage. Barry Cowan will be uh, alongside later on, taking you through the, uh, the later matches. But um, I'm going to kick things off here on centre court with Piotr and Pereira against Yanguis and Nieto. We then have the fourth seeds, Franco Stupachuk and Pablo Olimar. Pablo Olimar, sorry, the uh, Argentinian and Brazilian pairing, the fourth seeds, they will be in action in the second match on this court. And they will be taking on the qualifiers, Ruben Rivera and Aris Pacinotis. But we are now about to uh, get things underway with our first match of the day. Piotto and Pereira out onto the arena. And a big opportunity for them, having uh, got uh, entry as the 39th highest ranked pair. And now the uh, perhaps more familiar figures to those of you who follow this sport already very closely. and uh, Jorge Nieto, the ninth seeds from Spain. And uh, Nieto, of course, playing where he resides in Madrid. Big opportunity for the leading Spaniards to really shine here. Spiritual home of this sport. They were on the quarter a few minutes ago having a quick warm-up in preparation for this round of 32 encounter. So the 16 seeded teams, as I say, making their entrance today into the competition. We had some fierce days of qualifying and yesterday some very long matches, in fact, starting at midday and went into the early hours of this morning before the schedule was completed. 16 matches finally sorted out then. We've got 16 more today across the three courts here. Angus and Nieto, seasoned pairing this season in terms of what they've been doing together, although they haven't gone that deep yet in uh, one of the uh, leading events in terms of uh, the majors. Third round finish in Paris, also in Rome, and also in Doha. So they'd like to uh, certainly go further than that here. So just going through the rules and regs, of course, we have a video replay available as well. And now they have um, five minutes to uh, warm up for this event. Nice to see a good number of fans already in early doors and uh, throughout the day. We'll have uh, plenty more coming in. Over 20,000 tickets sold prior to the start of the main draw. 
Igor Yangush, who is uh, 20 years of age. We'll focus on him shortly, but uh, Pablo Enrique de Zaraga, the referee for this one. Jorge Nieto is 23 years of age, 1 metre 75, and a current ranking of uh, number 18, just one spot higher than his, his teammate. Hola. Bound to be some nerves on both sides, certainly for the, uh, the rank outsiders in Ignacio Piotto there, playing on the ad side. And uh, Ramiro Pereira, his fellow Argentinian, he's 23, his teammate just 20 years of age. But they had a good win in the opening round. They beat Joffre and Poggi 7-6, 6-4. This man towers over the other three. He is uh, 1 meter 89 tall, 20 years of age, and 19 in the world rankings. So we've got four right handers on the court for this opening matchup. And the winners of this encounter, they're in the uh, second quarter of the draw. So if they get to the third round, they'll face either. Solbes and Fushta, who had a hard-fought three-set win yesterday. Or Fernando Belastegin and uh, Arturo Coelho, the uh, Argentinian-Spanish combination, who are the six seeds. And uh, they will be playing in the third match on this centre court in due course today. And, of course, we'll have the appearance of um, the leading players, the top three seeded teams in succession in the final three matches. So that means that uh, the third seeds, uh, Tapia and Gutierrez from Argentina, they will be in action the final match, in fact, against uh, Arno Ayats and Dennis Marino, who had a really tough win yesterday on this main court. The second seeds are uh, Francisco Navarro and Martin Di Nenio, Spanish-Argentinian combination. they have had some great success this year already. And they'll be up against uh, Suskun and Ferrero. And uh, the top seeds, of course, the world's leading pair, Juan Lebron and Alejandro Galan from Spain, will have an all-Spanish contest up against Pablo Castillo and Daniel Bressel, who battled also yesterday vigorously to find a way into the second round to face the world's best. But Lebron and uh, Galan will look to get off to a storming start, no doubt, after their uh, tremendous successes already in 2022. If you're new to paddle, well, welcome along. It is a very fast-growing sport, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We have a cage around the court, as you can see, with glass and also uh, wire mesh along the sides. But uh, the prime position really is to get forward, try and dominate up at the net. But it's not all about power, there's a lot of finesse, a lot of skill, and we have the, um, the gaps at the sides of the net, so players can leave the cage to try and bring a ball back into play. Scoring system very similar to tennis. Be a best of a three-set encounter. The ball cannot be hit uh, directly onto the wall on the other side, it has to hit the ground first, or it will be... a. Loss of point, but I'm sure you'll pick up the rules in regs fairly quickly as uh, we get into the action. And uh, just to the side, you can see on the far side of that shot, we've got uh, players already playing in the uh, court three encounter that features uh, Lito and Ruiz, who are the 12th seeds, but they're down a set to uh, their fellow Spaniards, Garcia Mora and Marcos. They lost the first set 6 1. It's currently one all in the second set, but uh, potential for a, an early upset today in that encounter. And uh, on the other side behind the uh, 
the big curtain that we have draped at uh, one end of centre court. There's a matchup between uh, Victor Ruiz and Lucas Bergman, the Spanish-Brazilian combination, up against the uh, the seventh seeds from Spain, Geronimo Gonzalez and Alejandro Ruiz. Smash is a very important part of paddle, but uh, the way you use it, the bandeca, as it's known, is the uh, defensive smash. It's one to uh, regain position, give you time to move up the court. It's not struck fiercely, but it's uh, struck with a lot of spin and generally pretty deep in the court to just regain court position. But obviously, if you're up close to the net, then it gives you the chance to really use the power and force it off the back wall, if necessary, or out of court, off that, or certainly back over the net without being touched by your opponent. So uh, there's a lot of tactics, a lot of chess required. They've talked about the um, conditions here being uh, certainly slower than they were in Paris at uh, Roland Garros in the major played a few weeks ago there, but we are now very much focused on this premier paddle event the P1 in Madrid, the inaugural P1, the spiritual home of the sport. And Piotr Pereira against Yanguis Nieto is about to get underway. Our teams with their coaches. As again, we can give you a gist of what's being said there. We'll let you know. And we will hear from the winners in the post match on court interviews as well. The start of play on centre court as we see the ninth seeds and Guis and Nieto in the dark tops against these two. The Argentinian pair of Ignacio Piotto and Ramiro Pereira. I often see the uh, players line up in the Australian formation in terms of partner at the front on the same side as the server. 30 0, 30 love. Keeping a good eye on where your opponents are standing, where best to play next. All important. Trenta quinte, thirty fifteen. Good shot to uh, get that past in Gouish. Out. 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 Trenta iguales. Well. Correction. Perdón, perdón, corrección. 40-15. And a nice finishing shot from Nieto. Juego Nieto Yanguas. Keeping very low off the deck and around the wall. Ganan por un juego a cero. One game to love. So a straightforward start for the the ninth seeds.
finally long off the wall, but all players involved, really good work from Jan Gurish. He's giving himself room and good understanding with Nieto. Again, trying for a bit too much, and the wall first, rather than the, uh, the deck, which is all important. Just underdone. But, uh, the first break point saved two more 15, 40. to try and deal with here. Pietro. Just Guarenta. trying to organise his tall frame close to the net, not touch that. Worth another look and see. Yeah, so just moving out of the way, give him the room to do that or attempt it. 30 40. Defended as best they could, but in the end, it's not quite good enough, and that's a break straight away for the ninth seeds at the start of their bid here in Madrid. Quince iguales, 15 all. Yeah, getting used to also to the uh, out there indoors with the big screen right above the court. If the ball touches that, they uh, lose the point. Oh, amazing work. Flicking that back. 15-30. Spin on that, the slice on that ball. Coming off the wall, it comes back very low. Trouble again for Pereira and Piotto. Fend it off. Iguales. Dios. Segundo servicio.
Again, the use of the bandeca by the Argentinians, but once more, Pereira is uh, unable to uh, control that final ball. They're not so good on that one. Juice. And another juice. Out. Second service. Ventaja Nieto Yanguas. Advantage. Enough power. That low ball forcing the error off the back wall eventually from Piotto. Really fine. Iguales. Clever shot. Just caught out the seeds. Down the middle. That one there. They were almost indecisive in who was going to go for it. Ventaja Nieto Yanguas. Advantage. come up with a really good save off that because they were both uh, in two minds as to who was going to take it. Paddle around the ball. Shot again, but this time back in the net. Still lacking the feel, he needs some help here. He's obviously rather tense against the ninth seeds. Three games to zero. Good lead at the start of this matchup. Three love first set. Good wins already from Gush and Nieto. Help them get on board here. Certainly feel that Asia Piotto is uh, started well enough. It is uh, Pereira who's struggling so far. Good moments though from him, and I'm sure lots of positive encouragement going on. From the coach. And the coach also advising them to uh, slow things down. They struggle with the pace, perhaps, the of the points, the rallies. 
and look to perhaps change tactically how they try and stop these two from uh, running away with this opening set. Very experienced duo. Certainly by comparison with their uh, opponents, they are at a, a much higher level. Pereira, who's uh, ranking is 166 compared to that man there is number 18 in the world. Now is the game to start things uh, in a different way. And uh, Pereira certainly looks to do that behind his serve here. Trenta a zero, thirty love. Very good moves. Coming forward, expecting this to come off the back wall, so he moves up forward then in the position to smash that for the winner and avoid the net in the process. Need to be a pretty good limbo dancer or perhaps a high jumper to do that. He certainly got the height on him. Nicely worked 15. by the Argentinians into that backhand wing. Fantastic get from Nina Nieto, I should say. But that was really well struck, ultimately, Juego but just Pereira, showing you there Nieto. the skill, Nieto the Yangwa's vision. He knows where that's heading, and he's got there to brilliantly to bring that back then over his head. One of those dynamic moves that Paddle is uh, having a reputation on. Wow, that's just fabulous work again. Hopefully we'll get a, another look. Aguirre had gone outside. Nieto powers that, and eventually the Argentinians can't can't come back for it. Great work, ultimately, from Pereira. He's starting to play ball here. 30 love. Oh, did he, excuse me, just caught the uh, side wall. I thought he'd made the volley winner, but uh, it was off the side. But tremendous work from all four involved in that last exchange. And that's uh, swiftly Nieto done. Four one. Four one. 
so far so good for the ninth seeds from Spain against the uh, Argentine challenges. Having a discussion about uh, when the ball got out of the cage and how to best deal with that. Time. But so far, pretty good work from the Spanish duo. Letting rip with that, but a good reaction off the net called by Pereira. Nets, primer servicio. Segundo servicio. Well, the patience pays off and uh, 30, 30, 15. 30, 15. slow things down as the coach suggested they should. Starting to show uh, better things here against the Spaniards. Disappointing finish from Nieto's volley. So it's 30 15. Just couldn't 30 igual es 
30 old. Force will drive from Yangus on his paddle to send it back to the correct length. That's definitely going to be one of the plays to watch again. 40, 30. Quickly out of the gap. And brings this back. And you see where he hits it onto the opponent's side, but then into the net. Nothing they can do about that one. vision there. Piotr seeing Yankuish where he stood and then the way he hits this lot of slice on that ball spinning it out of reach down deep into the corner. Some rally, and the points can certainly go Juarez. on. Yes. A little unlucky in the end, Pereira. He did well here to flick yeah, that back, and then the volley just too, too low into the net again. Another fun point between Benda from Yungus. Speed from Advantage. Pereira. Por favor, no usen el flash de las cámaras que pueden molestar a los jugadores. Gracias. Just asking some fans not to use their flash cameras during a point. Break point. Well, a high ball, but short over the net is going to get punished. Nieto does exactly that with that one. 5 1 the lead. Set. We 
do have a result already, and it's uh, the demise of the uh, 12th seeds, Javier Ruiz and Pablo Lijo from Spain. Retirement early in the second set for them against Garcia and Marcos. Quinto cero. Fifth in love. Not doing enough for the smash. Swiftly. 40 love. Jorge Nieto has moved up now to set points on his serve. Nicely stunned down the side. 40, 15. Was he perhaps a little fortunate with the way he struck it? Segundo servicio. Again, the spin on the ball, catching well, out Pereira's attempt to bring it back. He struggled with that of uh, Jan Gouish's shots Yito through Yagua the first set, set for which is now well won by the uh, Spanish one. ninth seeds. 6-1. Second day of competition today when the Big guns come out to play, having all had buys, the top 16 teams into the second round. Already showing a thing or two to their Argentinian foes. They set to the good. A good start for the ninth seeds, Miguel Angus and Jorge Nieto from Spain. So Piotto and Pereira, a thing or two at this level, taking the opening set comfortably, six games to one, a couple of breaks of the uh, Piotto serve. To be fair to Piotto, he certainly played the better of the two on his side. Segundo set, al servicio, Pereira here. Ramiro Pereira. Taking a little while to uh, to settle. Let's see how he starts the second set. Segundo servicio. Fine move from Jungus. Just stepping Love forward 15. and then 
catching out his opponent up at the net. Opening the face of that paddle, putting it down the side. Another tight shot from Pereira, getting frustrated with his efforts so far. One in front of the other, just catching. Too much force on it to control. Down the middle is often a very good way to go in this sport. Try and split your opponents, force some interposition, and there you can see how well that was done by Jan Guis. Exactly there. 15, 40. So trouble already for Pereira on serve. Amazing use of the body, keeping it out of the way of the ball by Nieto. Nieto playing it. Fabulous point there, well, very well, light on his feet. And Guis will uh, no doubt Nieto applaud him for that. One they've already zero. got a break at the start of this second set. in that smash because he was up close to the net was able to hit it powerfully into the wall and bring it back over the net without it being touched by the opp opposition Quality coming from Nieto. Knowing where to go, stinks are uh, excellent from him. Rapid hold to love. Two love. Second set. So a change of balls after the first nine games. Buenas nuevas al servicio Ignacio Pioto Albornoz.
15 iguales, 15 no. Treinta, quince. Thirty, fifteen. Just misjudging the length of this. Coming off the wall first. Great on the turn. Quarenta, Drive from Piotto. Forty, fifteen. Facing the ball as it went back to the wall, following its journey back towards him and hammering it home. Quarenta, trenta. 40, 30. Fair to say that Ramiro Pereira is having a tough day at the office here. A little fortunate. The final shot ends there in the net. It was high and hanging for Nieto, but they have managed to get on board in the second set. 2-1. Twice as many winners <laughs> from Yanguis <laughs> and Nieto. Big part of the story here, their dominance and also half as many unforced errors. It's a pretty one-sided fair. But no, it does again, the Argentinian coach having to do his best to try and find ways for these two to get back into this contest. Patriots are the fifth seed, Federico Cingotto and Quantello. They're in action right now, actually, on the uh, Stadium 3 court. Court 3 in this stadium. And, uh, doing nice things so far against Bueno and Kies of Spain. They're leading 4-2 in their first set. Jorge Nieto serving again. 2 1 up in the second set. Very solid play, Nieto. They were working it to him almost constantly through the rally. And he dealt with all of it. Yungu is doing his bit when required. Thirty love. Uh, that 
Definitely be bigger battles to come. You'd imagine if the, uh, the Spanish duo prevail today, as they seem likely to do. So it's important if they can to uh, get through this as quickly as possible, save as much energy. Having to play every day through the week, the final course on Saturday here in Madrid. And he had the ball high to hit right at his opponent. Nieto, Yangwa, damage done, but just another point indeed, another game one. Nieto very assured here. All's fair in love and paddle. Hope you're enjoying coverage of this P1 event in Madrid. And, uh, certainly got a sizable crowd around the main court right now. Nice to see fans building in number through the week. Bouncing on that opportunity to split them. Go back harsh and hard and low behind them. Just calmly Pero going about their business down. here, point Lobo after point in. being ticked off. The ninth seed's in the very good shape so far. Juego. Quick hold Nieto of serve, Yanguas. really taking this away now from their challenges. Four games to one. Comfortable break for 4 1. Well, Premier Paddle have partnered with the World Health Organization Foundation to raise awareness about mental health in sport. It's a brand new partnership, the very first sports partnership of the uh, World Health Organization Foundation, and they'll be looking at raising awareness and visibility about the importance of mental health in sport and in future tournaments, looking at fundraising for specific mental health causes and initiatives. Escucha, a mí la lenta esa sí me gusta, porque me da tiempo a respirar. Como si la bandeja lenta. No puedo dar muchos efectos, ¿eh? Porque es un momento. Para mí hay que tirarse para adelante a todo nada. Porque si yo me tiro una patada antes con el cuerpo y no se me ha ido ni nada. Vamos este, vamos este aquí, ¿eh? Vamos este, vamos este. 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 Our first match of six on the schedule today. The ninth seed's looking very much a set fair for a place in the last 16. Third round of this event. We'll see how the uh, fourth seeds 
shape up in the next match that will follow this. Franco Stupachuk, the Argentinian, alongside Pablo Lima from Brazil. He'll be up against uh, Ruben Rivera and Aris Patiniotis. Too far. 30, 15. 30, 15. Sometimes off the cage, you get a, a variable bounce, call him out. Tall man, that took some doing though. Pereira does well there to catch out Nguyen with that overhead. 30, 40. Oh, just a little too difficult for him to make back. Make back point. Oh, he died on the deck there. Use. Trying to get the paddle right under the ball, but there wasn't much room. I believe he's done that. I mean, that was just a flick back desperation, really, out of the corner by Piotto. But Jan Guis gives them another chance to break him. Too far on the serve. Better off, off the high ball, young Guis. Troubling Pereira with that fast drive. Back to Juice. Oh, pinball and then wide from Nieto for a change. Many mistakes from him. <laughs> Got to enjoy it when it's like that. <laughs> Ran himself back into trouble. Subtle on that backhand volley. Ventaja Nieto Finding this uh, just too difficult to deal with and 
did a very good job actually to avoid calamity with the net post. And another one that smashed through him there. Here to... And they fended off the threat. The break points for the Argentinians snuffed out there. And it's 5 1. Almost through comfortably to the uh, third round for the Spanish duo. They've been winning 70% of points on their uh, first serve compared to just 39% for their opponents. Dominant on the returns as well. Just a straightforward reflex there from Piotto, keeping them in the point. Defended well. Trying to 30, flick it 15. over the net, but this goes back on his side. Net called ball. So one more game at least for Piotto and Pereira. But a long way behind at this stage. Down a set and 5-2 in the second. The Spaniards will prepare themselves to try and punch through to the third round. Both duos pretty young. In comparison with some playing here, we have a 
and two in their 40s who are in the draw. We also have a have had a sight of a teenager yesterday, the 17-year-old Cardona. But 20 and 23 respectively on either side of the net, and yet it is the Spaniards with the greater abilities at the moment at this stage of their career, at this stage. It certainly helps if you've got a tall, powerful player like Jan Guis to do that with the ball. The uh, stun volley, yeah, a little tap on the shoulder 15, from Piotto to Pereira after doing that. And Guis put back in a bit of a jam in the corner. But then Piotto guilty of hitting. Is the way to go. 40, it brings them to match point. That will do it very nicely indeed. Good beginning by the night seeds. Comfortable victory, too strong for the Argentinians. Learn a lot from the experience. Got through the first round, but came unstuck in the second against a quality pairing. And Miguel Andres and Jorge Nieto. 6-1, 6-2, the final score in the Spaniards' favour. And they are through to the third round in Madrid. to face the uh, six seeds, Belestegin and Coelho, or maybe Solbes and Fuster, those match. Those four will be on court later. But our first match of the day on the stadium court, the main show court here in Madrid, goes according to the rankings and the seedings. It goes very much in favour of the Spaniards. Considering the uh, speed of matches or length of them yesterday, that was a much quicker one. Yeah, the stats uh, really just underlining the uh, quality, the difference in class between the two pairings. Twice as many winners, half as many unforced errors, etc. Time for us to uh, hear from the winners. Barbara Vitantonio is about to talk to them. La primera entrevista en este primer partido aquí en el Court Central, Mike Cocky, felicitaciones. Bueno, lindo debut. Voy a empezar ahora con el local, si te parece, son todos locales porque claro, Premier Padel ha llegado a España. Estamos en Madrid, Cocky, imagino que para vos tiene un gustito más que especial, ¿me equivoco? Sí, total. O sea, jugar poder jugar delante de de mi gente, bueno, de la gente que, que es más cercana, es un placer y bueno, al final también es un poco arma de doble filo porque estás un poco más nervioso, pero bueno, intentando llevándolo, llevarlo de la mejor manera y hacer un, un buen juego. ¿Estabas un poco más nervioso de lo habitual como para empezar este partido? Bueno, un poco, pero sobre todo antes del partido, luego ya una vez entras en pista se te olvida y juegas lo mejor posible. 
¿Cómo Coquín, eh, perdón, Mike, encontraron las condiciones What's de pista like y cómo se, se pudieron adaptar no, digo, a las condiciones? La verdad que muy bien. Bueno, las bolas son más lentas de lo habitual. A nosotros nos viene muy bien, no te voy a engañar. Eh, nuestro juego se caracteriza por eso, entonces la verdad Balls que es muy buenísima. Sabíamos que teníamos una pareja enfrente que es muy peligrosa the, y tenemos que entrar muy concentrados para, bola, para tener lo, la oportunidad de ganar. Eh, y bueno, la verdad que muy contentos aquí jugar en Madrid con, con mi familia que también ha venido. O sea, que mañana vamos a por más, que tenemos un partido duro. Perdón, vamos a hacer un cambio ahora de español a inglés. We are going to switch from Spanish to English. Uh, please, Mike, could you tell us what was the key to win this match? Well, I think as we were talking with uh, Koki, uh, be very solid in every aspect of the game. In the back of the court and in the front, uh, being solid in the back and being very aggressive in the in the front with the volleys and the and the vibora bandeja. So, well, that was the, the key to win today. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en la siguiente ronda. Coqui y Mike Yanguas que siguen aquí, lógicamente, en este P1 de Madrid en el Wisin Center. A good beginning then, a very bright start for the Spanish duo as we see Enguas San Nieto come through 6-1, 6-2. So our first match of six on the schedule is done today on the center court. And we will have plenty more coming up very shortly, but uh, they're just confirmation of their... Uh, result and move through from the round of 32 into the last 16. And a bit of work to do, of course, signing some uh, Paddle balls for the lucky few. We will look forward to our next match up in a few minutes' time here. Do stay with us in Madrid.
We're in the Spanish capital, Madrid, for continuation of our coverage of the Premier Paddle P1 event at the Wizink Centre. I'm Barry Milnes with you for continued coverage on this second afternoon. We're into the second round today. We have the uh, seeded teams joining in the fray after having buys in from the first round to this stage. And we're about to see Lima and Stupachuk against Rivera and Pacianotis. Uh, they're coming up very shortly on the centre court. Lima and uh, Stupachuk, they are the uh, fourth seeds in the draw. And they've had some really good results in the major events of Premier Paddle this season. Semi-finalists in Doha, semi-finalists in Paris and quarter-finalists in Rome. And that's where things stand currently. A couple of wins already today in this P1 event. Unfortunately, uh, an exit early because of retirement for Ruiz and Lijo, the 12th seeds. But we have just seen uh, the number nine pairing of Yanguis and Nieto coming through comfortably on the centre court. And now we are about to uh, get our second scheduled match of the day in the main arena underway and the players <laughs> coming through. Ruben Rivera on the, uh, the left there, along with um, Aris Putiniotis. Done really well to come through qualifying these two and uh, to win comfortably against another qualifying pair in the first round of the main draw. So they get to drop a set, they're uh, in good form, but will they be good enough for these two? The four seeds Pablo Lima on the left, Stupchak on the, uh, the right as they entered the arena. And they are among the world's best in this sport. interesting the second day with the uh, seeds entering the fray as to uh, how their level shapes up against those who've fought through qualities or indeed got into the main draw by right but it is a step up in class and uh, we've already had a pretty swift first match of the day won by the, uh, the favourites for that certainly Lima and Stupacek will be the favourites for this one Okay. Si se me cae same page. Rivera, 32 years of age, 182. Patiniotis, uh, 30 years old, 175 tall. Their rankings both are outside the top 120, which meant they had to enter the qualifying draw. They were seated in that and did make a successful route through in straight sets in both matches that they were required to play. And then they beat uh, and, uh, Solano in the first round 
comfortably dropped only three games yesterday to do that, but uh, this is a different league today for them. Franco Stupachuk, who's based here in Madrid, he is Argentinian, but 26 years of age, 180 tall. Pablo Lima, the uh, Brazilian left-hander, 11 in the world. And uh, resides uh, currently in Bilbao. Stupachuk is uh, number seven, so there is a huge gulf in the rankings between the two teams. Second of our six matches on the stocks this afternoon on the centre court. And the world's uh, leading players ahead of Stupachuk and Lima. We also have the first, second and third seed pairs to play in due course today in this arena. A fair number of fans um, already attending and I would imagine we'll have uh, plenty more. There have been more than 20,000 tickets sold for the week. We've seen some record crowds this year around the uh, Premier Paddle events. Yeah. So they're allowed a five minute warm up on this court. Cinco minutos. 20 metres in length, 10 metres wide. Glass and mesh construction, of course. And the ability to step outside those gaps by the net posts. As long as the players don't touch those in midpoint, they can get out and retrieve the ball, bring it back. And we've seen some incredible efforts in that regard from a number of players, not least the two we had winning the first match of the day a few minutes ago. I can tell you that uh, Chingotto and Tello, the fifth seeds from Argentina, they're already a set up on the uh, court three. Leading the Spanish pair of Bueno and Kiev, 7-5, currently trailing though on the second set down 3-2 so that has potential to go the distance and the seventh seeds Gonzalez, Luque and uh, Ruiz are a set and 2-1 up in the second against Bergamini and Ruiz on uh, court two currently Tres minutos. Prize money for the week, 250,000 euros. So it's a, a growing sport and certainly professionally now drawing many to it as a result of uh, the investment being made. Spain primarily and the Italian, uh, sorry, the Latin American countries are at the forefront in terms of uh, those highest ranked in the men's game right now and of course in this country with so many players almost six million registered more than 14,000 paddle courts in this country alone and there are over 1,000 paddle clubs officially registered in Spain Y resta en la posición de revés Rubén Rivera. Premier Paddle will give uh, 
the global audience more knowledge, more entertainment of this fine sport as it uh, develops so rapidly. See the, uh, investments elsewhere in other countries. Les Paddle tennis as it now is. If you're just joining us for the first time watching, trying to find out what paddle tennis is all about, well, played like tennis in terms of the scoring system, best of three sets. Played as doubles here, but with the cage around, so the ball can come off the wall or the side cage as long as it has hit the, uh, the court surface first. And it's amazing to see the uh, craft and skill, the, the tactics being used, trying to gain position to get forward. Ultimately, you want a, a high hanging ball close to the net that you can then smash away for the winner out of reach of your opponents. But it's a... Um, very testing physically, a lot of knee bending low balls that you have to deal with, a lot of slice and dice. And we're about to uh, witness this fine pair in action for the first time this week in Madrid. Barry Milne's with you as we continue our coverage. And look to see what Pablo Lima and Franco Stupachuk can do against um, the qualifiers Ruben Rivera and Aris Patiniotis. Stupachuk to start things. on the ball when it is there to uh, fire in at your opponent is the end result but patience first and foremost in this sport is a prerequisite great awareness agility and uh, ability to adjust to the ball buried in the net rather than on the other side of the 15 all 15 all Doing very well to bring that last ball back. Segundo servicio. And the players tend to line up on the sides, even when. A teammate is serving on the sides that they normally play on. So you'll see here, for example, Lima remaining on the right side, even when they're serving, when his teammate is serving from the juice side, he'll be directly in front of him. 30 iguales, 30 or. Good snap on that from. 40, 30. Lima, right down on the toes 40, of Patianotis. First move out of the cage, and it was very well done by Rivera. Iguales. Tignot is just going for the uh, towel. Certainly expend a lot of energy, a lot of physical effort. But uh, his anticipation just now, excellent to get out of the box and bring it back the way he did.
mitad, kilo atrás, atrás, viene. Mitad, mitad. Sí. Sí. Va. Communication, good teamwork. Full seeds in sync there. And that one cut into the uh, cage part of the, the mesh part of the cage, getting a low bounce off it. First game on the board. Full seeds holding well enough. These two pairs are in the uh, third quarter of the draw. Potential to play the 10th seed in the next round. That's uh, Javier Garrido and Lucas Campagnolo. And they are facing uh, Semla and uh, Ramirez del Campo today. The heavy smash from the forecourt. 15, 30. Down deep and then off the wall, back over the top of their opponents. Can't reach that point. Well, one. Very good work from Pablo Lima, the Brazilian, 15, using the bandeca initially and then working his way 15, forward quickly 40. behind it, coming in, cutting off that volley sharply into the side of the cage. Done that a few times before. Break points. Segundo servicio. Well, he's fortunate he apologizes, but he was working really well. Moving nicely to each ball, just knowing exactly where he's trying to get to. So a break as a result, two love they lead. Gets back for this really well with the smash. Oh. 
<laughs> Need to be a bit taller than that. 30 0. 30 long. Really impacting the power, getting that ball to come back up and over, out of reach. Good rallying, really smart, solid defending, primarily from Lima. 40 0. 40 lot. This really is a step up. Straight onto the back wall, that won't do it. And uh, already through another game to lead three love. They're uh, up and running fine, in fine fashion already, these two. Three love they lead for set. Suggestion from the coach there that um, he needs to start with the uh, paddle facing, not up, but a little more down. That said, the numbers it's already very tidy work. Favorites in this encounter. Got such a good understanding, they move so well in sync together. Another nod of approval from Love Lima. 15. Picks that up very smartly. He's got great hands. 35 years young. And that is a costly game. It's a double break. Broken to love. Four game to love. 
Just out of his reach. It certainly looks like this uh, contest might soon be out of their reach. Carries on like this. Just comes back onto the wall first, losing the point as a result. 40 love. And that is sweetness. Defined there off the volley from Lima. Five love already, their lead. Bumping through the first set. What's the coach going to tell him here? No, 21 winners to five, and only three unforced errors by the seeded duo. Yo te digo lo que creo. Después ustedes toman las decisiones que se mueven. Yo lo que veo de afuera es que se les hace pesado mentalmente el tema y quieren ganar dos puntos. Acá vamos a tener que laburar un huevo, tío, para ganar este partido. Vamos a pegarle una también, boludo, para que Lima salga de atrás. Que si no, sí, no, no, sí, no, sí, no. tenemos que tener volumen cuando estamos atrás, ¿vale? Hacemos dos o tres y ahí salimos. Yo sé que es difícil este partido y estamos cansados, sí, boludo. Claro. Ya lo sé, boludo, ya lo sé. Pero para algo estamos acá. Vamos a intentar... Vamos, vamos a activar escucha, el vamos tiempo. A, vamos a intentar salir por juego. Dale, tener buenas sensaciones, dale, boludo, dale. De punta, de, de, de juego, juego. Vamos, viejo, vamos. Coach Sangley. No, this match is hard, it's retired. We're playing the matches they have, but um, we have to get it going. I have a good feeling. Not sure what else he can say, really, but there is a, an obvious difference in class and ability here. It. Be ready, waiting. He was. Nico Stupichuk again, just finishing it off after good work from Lima. That's better. 15 iguales. 15 or. It's tough for the qualifiers to find a weakness. They've got a, a gift there. Lima, surprising error from him. A shake of the head as he puts this in the net. Well, that's genius from Stupachuk. He knew exactly where to be. But he had to come forward as that ball was hit behind him. Playing off the rebound. Doing really well with it. create things point after point so well it's brought them already to set point and they're about to uh, serve up a bagel here not just yet Continuatis aggressive there 
seeing it through quickly. the smash that's when it comes back short hangs there to be thumped for the winner and another chance to close the set the set is done it's very well done by the four seats the Argentinian Franco Stupacak and the Brazilian Pablo Lima Making an excellent beginning to their bid in Madrid as they bagel the first set, taking it six love. No, it take long, just 17 minutes, I think, for that opener. <laughs> so a very good start for them. We'll see if they continue after the start of the second set. Straightforward work so far for Lima and Stupachuk, whose coach uh, said to them at the end of that first set, I don't want you to change anything, carry on as you are, just don't give away any free points. So they didn't do much of much wrong in the first set. A rare success for Rivera getting one past Lima. Pero 15, love 15. To his foot, a little apology, but 15, 30. I'll have to start this set with a, a break of the serve, even if they can't hold their own so far. Get on the board with a, an opening game in the second. And they might do it now. Nice moves again made by Ruben Rivera. 15, Based in Barcelona.
Well, it was a great point, ultimately won by Rivera and Patin Patiniotis, and they have their first game. I was going to say that Stupchuk did so well with his volleying to keep full seats in the rally for as long as he did. But that's um, very encouraging, certainly a response that was necessary from Rivera and Patiniotis. I wonder what uh, the other pair's coach will be thinking now after his instruction to them. Don't give, any way, give away any free points. Keep playing as you were. Well... They do much of the former there. I don't think they did, but uh, certainly the other two have made a response. Need to keep it going go now. Need to make I sure of this next service game with a hold. Zero lost 15. It's very handy, that uh, overhead to the side of the court onto the mesh. Because you're never quite sure how it might come back off it, and that just caught the mesh where the post behind it came back yeah. the way it had gone. Breakback points immediately here for Lima and... Stupid shit. So immediately the uh, response made by the full seeds after dropping their serve for the first time. And the other two still unable to uh, hold any of their service games in this match so far. Our second match of the day, six on the schedule on centre court in Madrid. Dynamic, athletic from Stupachuk. Relishing the chance to uh, go at that. 40, 15. Just deceiving him off the side. 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. 
Sí, a mí sí me lié. Maravilloso. Peor todavía. Cuenta, que se sí, sí, igual. Escucha. Te diste cuenta, ¿no? Que no hace falta ir a chabolear. No, esa, sí, sí. esas aceleraciones sí. no las necesitamos. Estamos tranquilos. Bien recuperado, ¿eh? No, pero ¿sabes qué pasó ahí? The difference in winners, 35 already from Lehman's Tipchip. They're to 14 from their opponents. And they've made very few unforced errors, just a handful so far. I can say that their opposition has made many more, but just not had nearly as great an effect positively. Tiempo. Se mira con bolas nuevas. Rubén Rivera. Scampering off out of the gap to try and bring it back, but to such a good strike from Lima. Love 15. Flick back of that high backhand from Stupachuk. Catching technology above the court. Tough times for Ruben here to try and fend off these break points. Enough force 30, just 40. to keep it out of his reach. 30, but they're unable to uh, prevent the breakthrough there. Another loss of serve this time for Ruben Rivera. 3 1. That's five breaks in a row for the full seats. new move I just then flicked it long
No, good strike. Just forcing one error off Stupacic for a change at the net. 15 iguales. 15 all. And uh, certainly Lehman Stupacic will have been looking for a, a resounding performance here today, considering their last matchup. In the, uh, the major event in Paris, of course, they made it to the semis, had a great run that week until they faced the top seeds, Callan and Lebron, and they'd lost 6-1-6 love in the semi-finals. Longest rally of the contest, and it's gone as so many have. We have the fourth seeds. 40, a lot of patience, a lot of hard work from all of the quartet on the court before that thumping finish from Lima. Another game goes against Rivera and Patiniotis, who are being outplayed here. No question about that. The four seeds a class apart and already 4 1 up in the second set, having won the first six, love. The Premier Panel has partnered with the uh, World Health Organization Foundation to raise awareness about mental health in sport. It's a brand new partnership, the very first sports partnership of the WHO Foundation, and they'll be looking at raising awareness and visibility about the importance of mental health in sport and in future tournaments looking at fundraising for specific mental health causes and initiatives. An initiative very much being shown by the seeded duo in this encounter. Something of a masterclass being handed out to Rivera and Patiniotis. It appears that the uh, trainer has been called here. Struggling with the knee, apparently. I think they're also struggling a bit with the, uh, the lights here. Of course, having to get used indoors to this event after the outdoor fair in Paris recently. Okay, 
So obviously hurting him where it flexes the knee when he does that. And there's a lot of that required in paddle. So a three minute uh, injury timeout, I believe. For Aris Patiniotis. Let's see, it's just delaying the inevitable conclusion to this encounter which these two are storming through. For the most part, things have gone according to the seedings. The 16 seeded teams in action today for the first time this week. Miguel Angus and Jorge Nieto, we saw on this court winning earlier on. 6 1 6 2 against Piotr and Pereira. The seventh seeds are Geronimo Gonzalez and Alejandro Ruiz. 7 5 6 1 against Victor Ruiz and Lucas Bergamini. And the fifth seeds, Federico Chingotto and Juan Tello from Argentina. 7-5-6-3 winners against Mark Kiev and uh, Tony Bueno, who had a real fight yesterday on centre court but couldn't go further today. The only seeds to uh, succumb so far due to uh, injury, unfortunately, were uh, the 12th seeds, Javier Ruiz and Pablo Hijo. Fellow Spaniards, Javier Garcia and Raul Marcos got the first set 6-1 against them and were 2-1 up in the second when the 12 seeds retired from that encounter. Over on the stadium. Court three right now, Jose Rico and Agustin Gutierrez, the 14 seeds. They are just underway against uh, Antonio Fernandez and Jose Antonio Diestro. And on court two, the 13th seeds. We understand Gomez Salingo and Juan Cruz Benavati from Argentina. They have already got a two love lead in the first set against Ignacio Villarino and Jaime Munoz of Spain. So the injury uh, timeout being completed. For Aris Patiniotis, that troublesome left knee. However well he's patched up, it's going to be a tall order for the, uh, the uh, pairing who've come through qualifying to go any further here. That concludes the uh, time on the timeout. Medical timeout. Back, uh, the spring in his step. Stupachuk and uh, Pablo Lima behind him. Already 4 1 up in the second set after bageling these two in the first. Hopefully, the knee's a bit better for Patiniotis, who's serving again now. 1 4 second set. Good weight on that dipping ball, catching out Lima, who hasn't missed much in this match. Chuck trying to be very positive there, coming forward to that, but difficult in the end to deal with.
Spin on the ball, just iguales. deceiving him, waiting for it, trying to time it. And unable to get it right. See that slight move off the bounce to his left. <laughs> that one is good enough. Skating across the uh, top of the cage. Still check on the run, but he can't get to that one. Perhaps half a chance the way it came off the back ball there. Spinning up, as you can see, and he's able to hit back, but not with anything on it. Straight onto the wall, and another break Juego of Lima, serve. Been a pretty torrid time for these two. One. So Pablo Lima about to uh, serve for the match here. 5-1, second set. With that line here. They've been one of the form pairings of the year. And they are certainly striding through towards the third round here very shortly, one would imagine. They now have three match points. It is a resounding victory for the fourth seeds. A very, very comfortable win. Six love, six one in next to no time. Uh, they must be delighted with their performance. We'll get to hear from them in a few moments, no doubt. But just the start they would have hoped for, an emphatic display of fine paddle tennis on this centre court in Madrid. The Argentinian-Brazilian combination bringing it handsomely to the court today. And they are uh, very much on their way now into the third round. Created all sorts of problems for their opponents. And they were relentless in attacking. The serves making good on their breakpoint opportunities, keeping their errors down to a real minimum. He's got great hand skills. 
Lima and uh, a lot of energy and uh, quality at the net. Stupid Chuck as well. So it was resounding, emphatic, call it what you like. It was a dominant display, 6-love, six 6-1. Six they really have uh, taken that match away. Well, a good effort has to be said from Rivera and Patiniotis, rank outsiders, to have come through qualifying, to have got through their opening round yesterday. But they were certainly outplayed today by the fourth seeds. And uh, very shortly, Franco and Pablo will uh, have words with our interviewer, Barbara. Uh, the numbers finally 52 winners in their favor only 20 against and just six unforced errors as well so an excellent performance to uh, begin their bid this week in madrid and barbara vitantonio is now ready to talk to them on the court Así es, clasificados Estupaxuk y Lima los octavos de final con un paso realmente contundente, al menos en este debut de los resultados, chicos. Si no es el resultado realmente más contundente de lo que vamos en esta segunda jornada de, de, de torneo, creo que no equivocarme. Felicitaciones, Franco, Pablo, por este partido. Hablaban allí justamente los compañeros en la transmisión de que esta pista aparentemente te sienta muy bien con tu capacidad defensiva, mucha solidez tuviste y lógicamente efectividad. Match, uh, suited you very well, you've been very solid. Bueno, hoy, hoy sí me, me he sentido bastante bien. Espero que me sirva para los demás días también. Hoy sí creo que hemos jugado muy, muy bien. Hemos tenido un poquito más de paciencia. Today felt que very good. Puntos, Hopefully we'll repeat bueno, for the next round. Se van a ver puntos mucho, muy largos y, y van a haber partidos muy igualados. Franco, en tu caso, con esta etapa Some tal vez de long, explotar un poquito más tu result. parte ofensiva, ¿cómo sentiste? ¿Cómo te adaptaste a la pista? Bueno, eh, como dijiste vos, eh, Pablo, eh, acá se hace muy fuerte en defensa y hace que yo me un poquito court. más todavía. Si bien no se puede pegar mucho, pues como dijo él, eh, la cancha no está muy, muy rápida. My partner is very good in defense. Como se va llenando estos días, and va, the court's va a salir not very fast más, today. Vamos, vamos a poder explotar un, un poquito mi juego, pero yo creo que si Pablo está cómodo, la pareja funciona bien. Premier Pael llegó a Madrid, llegó a España, otro pasito más. ¿Cómo están viviendo esta nueva etapa? Bueno, todos creo que todos los jugadores well. están súper contentos. Era un torneo muy esperado en España. Y el lugar es impresionante, así que quiero felicitar a Premier Pael por, por todo el trabajo, porque la verdad es que los jugadores están disfrutando mucho. Gracias, chicos, y nos vemos en la siguiente ronda. Continuamos con más. And they certainly want to uh, congratulate Premier Pael for organizing this event in Madrid. Well, they've graced the court today with that performance. Hopefully we'll see uh, much more from those two if they carry on in that way. We probably will. And, uh, confirmation of their victory top right there to get through to the uh, round of 16. Five results so far. 16 matches overall on the schedule once again. And we are a few minutes away from our third match of the day on this court. Barry Cowan will be your commentator for that one.
Welcome back. We are the home of Paddle here in Madrid at the Wiesink Center. Second day of the Madrid P1 Premier Paddle events. Already had two very impressive performances from Miguel Yangas and Jorge Neto. A1-6-1, 6-2, and then a very convincing, superb performance from Franco Stupachuk and Pablo Lima. And they just finished off their first match here with a 6-1, six 6-love six victory. Coming up, Fernando Balestaguin and Arturo Cuello. That's, they are in the left side of the draw towards the bottom against Solbes and Fuster. And then, of course, later on, we've got Navarro and Di Neno. We've got the top pair in the world, LeBron and Gallan. They're looking forward to playing here. Super pumped to play in this arena with family and friends watching and then the last match of the day. Tapia and Gutierrez, the Argentinians, take on Ayats and Perino who were very good yesterday. Young and old enjoying the paddle. And our players. Good opportunity this is. Solbes and Fusta. A three set victory yesterday 6 7, 6 3, 6 2. To set up this opportunity to play a top pair. Who are number six on the entry. Ovation for Belastagin, who's from Argentina, and Arturo Coelho from Spain. Barry Cowan in the commentary box. Thank you to Barry Milnes for those first couple of matches today. Five minute knock up. And old Belastagin and Coyo, 43 year old Belastagin, Coelho, age 20. In terms of their uh, performances so far in the three majors, well, apart from meeting and losing to LeBron and Gallan in all three events, they fared very well. Quarter finals in Paris and Doha, semi finals in Rome. So Solbez and Fuster elect to return. The referee for the third match of the day. Three courts in use early part of the week here at this excellent arena. The centre court right in the middle and then to the right it's court three. And to the left, court two behind the curtain. But 
43 years of age. Experience for Fernando Belastegui. Lives in Barcelona. That's for his partner, Borna Lifson. Fellow did. Started on the tour in 2017. to be able to play next to someone with all the quality and experience of Belastegin. He hopes to continue to play by his side until the end of his career. Initially for Quello, it was... Uh, Football and tennis before his attentions turned to paddle, age 10. Solves the left hander. Fuster. 34. Three minutes. Three minutes. On the entry, these two. Lives in Alicante. So this age 34. Fuster aged 32. So the youngest. Player on the court is Cuello. In terms of their uh, majors, the last one in Paris, they lost in the opening round to Bergamini and Ruiz, did Solbez and Fuster. As is often the case when you've got a, a right hander. Left-handed partnership, the, the left-hander. Left-hander will take the, uh, the right court, the, the right-hander will take the left court. Belastegin and Cuello. Decent crowd in, certainly a few more than yesterday, and you'd certainly expect there'll be a a few more later on as well, and 20,000 tickets already been sold for the week. They expect to sell more on the day. Over 20,000 courts now in Spain. Country after football. And it is a a big week for all the players, the opportunity that, that they have. Points, prize money. Exposure. The tour will be off to Argentina next week. Thirty seconds. Final thirty seconds, and then we'll be getting underway. Uh, best of three tiebreak match. Ball change. First nine games, and then after that, every eleven games.
had off bat. Holson. Carbon. And then the foam in the middle. Certainly everyone's been mentioning about the conditions a lot slower than what we experienced in Paris with it being indoors, a little bit of humidity, different type of ball. The players chose this particular ball because it was at altitude. And although it's the same surface, the underneath is laid differently to what we had. Now Roland Garros and the yes, okay, Philip yeah, Chetri. Yeah. So we're all ready to go. Madrid P1 Premier Paddle Events. Barry Cowan in the commentary box. A fascinating match coming up. The six seeds. Fernando Belastegin and Arturo Cuello. Against Miguel, Miguel Solbes and Christian Fuster. Both from Spain. They are the underdogs. Three-set victory yesterday. For Solbes and Fuster. Can they cause an upset? So far, it's gone to the form guide on centre court today. Time. Yesterday they had to beat the qualifiers, Solbes and Fuster. Ready. And now they are up against the six seeds, and it will be Blastagin to begin. Best of three set match. Fifty-nine. Just have to get used to the, the giant screen that's just above. There's much room to hit the lob in. Trenta quince. Thirty fifteen. One of the features yesterday was at times. The long rallies. Players not necessarily looking to be as aggressive. The smashes going for placement. Trenta iguales. Periol. Cleverly played there from Cuello. 40, 30. Locking it down to the feet of Solbes. That's a brilliant smash. Instead of going for the Bandeka, went for the outright pace, and it paid dividends there from Cuello. So 
their opening game. So often is the case when you've got uh, stronger players, the higher ranked. So important for the, Al servicio. the underdogs to try and stay with them as long as possible. This is a big opening game coming up. Fuster serving. Inset, sir. 50 long. Trenta quince, Cleverly played there. So far, the best rally of the match. Oh, that's a pity. 30-40. So break point it is, having had that 30-love lead. Well saved. Just couldn't get enough. Yes. Spin and pace and height on this overhead quiet. It's when the conditions are slow. That's what the, the players mean, that when they're going for the, the big shot, the conditions are quick and the ball's a little harder, that might bounce over them. Pentaca, Fuster, Solves. There's no escape out of this game yet. And 
Taka, Fuster Solbes. Game point number two. That's a very good service hold. Had to come through, save a couple of break points. That's good from Fusta. The first service game they held to 30. This game, three comfortable points. Forty-fifteen. Forty, Forty, sloppy errors. Forty, thirty. And what was looking like? Uh, First love service game. One more game point, however. So service hold it is. Still early stages of the second round match. Six seeds. They lead in two one. Okay. Al servicio, Miguel Solves. Let for serve.
Good power, too hot for Cuellar to handle. Still trying to figure each other out. Error there. It's about touching the net. Let's have a look on the replay. That's really good paddle. They continue to hold their own, do Solbez and Fuster. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty. surprised. Forty thirty. Fuster, two-handed backhand from Cuellar. Luego, Fuster Solves. Dos juegos iguales. More comfortable service game, game than the opening one when Fuster had to save the two break points. Fifteen. Let's go for that drop volley again. Trenta quince. Thirty fifteen. Oh, he read the play, 15. just couldn't quite direct the ball back down into the court.
Those things stand, it's pretty evenly matched, but they will certainly be aware, Sobez and Fusta, they're playing well, they cannot afford to drop their level even by a couple of percent. Some of these types of rallies that we've had. In the match where five games, still yet to see a break. 3-2 to the six seats. Creo que están más finos con los globos. No, sí, sí, sí. Pero decimos que ya... No por este juego, ¿eh? En general, ha ganado ya varias pegadas. Vale, vamos con el más. La gente se viene debajo, ¿eh? Por la bola. Vale, mucho, ¿eh? Sharp hand skills from Cuello. Too much pace on that one. Service game, he led 30 Lar Fuster before having to save two break points. In trouble, oh no, well played. Got the extra spin on it. 40 15 now. That net. That's brilliantly played from Solbes. High level paddle. Anticipate maybe the one down the middle. Yeah. 
Ince zero. Pitila. Certainly when you look at the game so far, it's been plain sailing on serve for Belastagin and Cuello. Although they're playing very well, Solbes and Fuster can't keep allowing their opponents to cruise through service games. He's got the power and the ability to finish at the net, Cuello. That's why these two are such a, a good partnership. They complement each other brilliantly. Well, it's gone for the kill Cuello. again. Love service Cuello. game. Back-to-back back back love two, service three. games. 4-3, their advantage. Vale, el lobo para el que le tiraste de revés, Bien. muy bueno, ahí Arturo no te adelantás en el primero, ya si globo al medio te adelantás, vale, vale. tirale globo al medio, movete mucho y fíjate si está, le puedes subir a golear, sí. moviéndote ahí, dale, le puedo Bien. llegar a generar el contragolpe porque estoy tirando solo para arriba, ¿no? por eso, por eso, y, y cuando la juego abajo me quedo quieto atrás, entonces sí, flaco, no. tenés que jugar, vos jugás sí. normal, Bajo, y jugás normal, vamos Arturo acá, empezale con el globo por el medio y jugás normal, y también de revés tenés el globo para el lío, y vos ahí, ahí te moves, vale. y vos vamos con los restos que peloteás, ¿Eh? y hasta que tirás el globo al medio, dale, bien. vamos, bien. venga, que lo intentaste en alguna, pues bien, si tirás el globo, querés que suba él, Time. It's a zero. Fifty love. Trenta quince, thirty fifteen. Causing problems. Quarenta quince, forty fifteen. Anticipated it nicely. Alert to the play there, Solbes. And they've been very alert to most plays so far. Wasn't going to make a mistake that they made earlier in the match of clipping the top of the net. Thank 
Oh, fat now, they've Rock been able 15. to win the opening point. First time they've done that. Bit of scoreboard pressure. Zero trenta. Love thirty. Trenta iguales. Give it all moments in this opening set. Quarenta, trenta. Forty, thirty. They will just feel a slightly disappointed having had the love thirty lead. force their first break point. First time they've been to juice. It's highly skilled. Wow. Not an easy shot given the importance but Beautifully played. How pivotal could that last game be? Was a look, looking a little twitchy at one stage for Belastegin and Cuello. Love 30, but they hold on. Can they apply some real scoreboard pressure now? Time. Hope you're enjoying the coverage today from Madrid. Match number three so far. Hope a couple of matches. Two comfortable wins for the seeded pair. Yangas and Nieto. Also, Stupachuk and Lima. A little more difficult, though. 
for Palastagin and Cuello. But they do lead 5-4. Inset zero, fifty love. Oh, behind his back. One of the best, has the height, also has the power, does Cuellar, one metre 90, uh, that ball leap, no chance for Fuster. Trouble yeah. again. Turning the screw. In Trenta. 15-30. Again, the spin. He puts on that ball. In Quarenta. Disappointing miss. Close to the 15-40. Side of the cage. Two set points. It's certainly going to favour the lob to Belastegin because of that. He made it happen there, Cuello. Absolutely magnificent. A threat has always been there from Cuello with his height, with his dominance on the smash, and three smashes there. And uh, the first breaker served, the first set has gone the way of Belastegin and Cuello. Noticeable increase in their level. 6 4, they take it. Ahí, ahí yo se dice, aunque esté muy lento todo, hay que ir muy rápido de patas. Porque si no, jugar, jugar muy lento y quieto de patas me acuerdo. Pero el contragolpe no tiene por qué ser muy adelante. Las que no se pueden apretar no se apretan, pero la intención sí, sí. es que nos quede fácil la pelota. Okay, dale. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, Vela, va. Time. Segundo set al servicio. Fernando Velasquez. Start of the second set. The first set to Velasquez and Cuello. 6-4, the advantage. The pressure is firmly on. Uh, Solbes and Fuster now. In turn zero. 15 left. Iguales. 
Oh, the problem they've got now is how do they stop this onslaught? And you can chase, more errors can then occur. This is a really difficult moment for Solbez and Fuster. A big boost this will be. First break point of the match for Solbez and Fuster. Mighty fine effort. That's a really strong Primero comeback minutos. game. First game. Him and what happened at the end of set one to break Pelastagin and Cuello for the first time. Fuster's turn. Fifty love. Thirty love. Quarenta, quince. Forty fifteen. Fuego, Fuster Solves. Fuster Solves ganan dos juegos a cero. Two games, two love. And they will feel they've got a chance to find a way back in this opening set. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we've seen what 
Why they are so dangerous together. Brinta hey. Kinsen. 30-15. First up. Quarenta trenta. Forty thirty. That's good. Who's the beginning of the set? Pelastegin Cuello holds there. 2 1. The advantage of Solbez and Fusta. Opening set to Pelastegin Cuello. 6 4. Concentrados, nos vamos moviendo y por ejemplo ahí concentrados en el resto, ver dónde podemos, vamos a tirar la pelota las primeras bolas donde ellos no nos maten, donde ellos no nos maten, que podamos pelotear y tirar bien el globo, dale. Por ejemplo ahí cuando vos tiras por el medio, un poquito más cerca de la de Fuster si va fuerte. Vale. Para que le venga fuerte acá y ya o sea, que que restos bien, firmes al medio, un poco caro. sobre la línea blanca más y, o menos. Y, y, y que nos dejen jugar, que nos dejen jugar, que vamos a va. movernos, a buscar el globo. Y a ver si yo te los paso, dale. Eso, dale. Vamos acá. Y ahí atento, lo pasando, ah, porque tú lo estás mirando igual está lejos en la volcada. ¿sí? Dale, no, no estamos dale. como, como no estamos enfocados en todo. Sí, sí, no, vale. Estoy con el chip como que solo tengo que ir a No estamos jugando, jugar mejor todavía. Dándolo como recién, vamos. Darle con todo todo el tiempo. Sí. Va. Vamos, va. Play safe on the first ball. Very simple instruction. Law 15. Let's for some. That's brilliant. Absolute dynamite from Belastigin. Looking to get that break back. And they might just do that. Three break back points. Love 40. Juego, me las tengo en cuello. Dos juegos iguales. The end, sort of a disappointing way to drop serve. Simple instructions, change of ends. In business. Oh. 
Vincent Zero. Fifteen left. Taking a big stranglehold now. Eight points in a row. Make that nine. Fortilov. Juego three games. The first set, how quickly and they were able to seize the initiative. Well, that's happened in the last couple of games. 3-2, and a set to the good. Vamos, dale, dale, dale. Vamos a ser más sólidos ahora, eh. Sin regalos, va. Nos hemos hecho un autobrega ahí, va. Dale. Time. Ahí está esperando la bandeja, está llegando a bolsillo. Dale, venga, va. Presiona, vamos. Vamos. Law 15. Oh, this winning run continues. 11 in a row. We saw that last night, final match of the evening, Valdez and Sanchez. How quickly it ran away from them. They have to stop the bleeding now, quickly. This will be a blow if they don't win this point either. They do stop it. Well done. Put it over Cuello's head. What a rally! Brilliant! And in the end, as in much as they tried, up. as soon as he said mine. Felt trouble was just ahead, and so it proved to be.
15, 40. 15, 40. Standing. I remember the moment uh, they sat down at 1 2. Four games to two. Just play steady. Don't allow them the killer shot, and they certainly haven't, but it, in fact, it's been them. Velastigin and Cuello who have been able to finish the points off with some dynamic paddle. And huge control of the match. Zero quince. Law fifteen. Iguales, 15 on. Trenta, quince. Tori, fifteen. Quince, forty, fifteen. Four games in a row, soon to be five. Two game points. is right but he didn't get that 40, one 30. the pace or the placement Cuello punished for it still a game point however Iguales Dios The smash have come from Cuello, but he played his part there, Belastegid. Played right into that awkward area of the cage Belastegui between the, the metal and the perspex glass. It's by five games to two. To be honest, it doesn't get much better than that. I'm not sure anyone could react to that last shot. Esa señal con el plan a los pies, esa, esa van perfecto. Vale, vale. Venga, vamos ahora, mejor, eh. Mejor, venga. Ahí te lo digo porque como 
esa de ahí, si sí. me decís, bueno, que la tenés que tirar de contra porque no te queda otra, pero ahí hay que estar muy sí. concentrado, porque cada, cada punto es largo, hay que jugar, entonces no podemos dar una pelota gratis. Vale, perfecto. Ahí jugamos mejor. Bien, bueno, sí, ahora ahora ya nos estamos claro. moviendo y estamos jugando sí, mejor. Sí, bueno. sí, aparte cuando vale. yo le juego la bandeja, tengo, tengo, tengo que tratar de jugarlo un poco más profundo. Sí, vale. un poco más plana si querés. Plana te va a llegar más a la pared. Vale. Vale. Que, si no, la si va antes de pared, correle porque el globo no tira. Si, no, si ves que va antes de pared, llegale a volar porque el globo no tira de ahí. No, tira de ahí. Vale, sí, vamos. Ahí podés tirarle a los pies y correr activo y darle con la volea. Venga. Vamos a ver. Va. Vamos a verla, muy bien. Va. Lent, what's up? Cero, 15 love. Let's for serve. iguales 15 15 30 15-30. And they want 11 points in a row, Balastagin and Cuello. Trenta, cuarenta, thirty, forty. So there is a victory, a first of the week for Belastegin and Cuello. A highly competitive first set. Quality was there, but from that moment, in the end of the opening set, when Cuello hit those three full-blooded smashes, and they did well at the beginning of the second. Solvers and Fuster, they had the two-love advantage, but then. They turn the screw, 11 points in a row from Balastagin and Cuello. Coach will be happy, players will be happy. Straight sets, victory. And this is how victory was sealed. Argentinian and the Spaniard book their place in tomorrow's last 16 are in many ways 
the perfect partnership. Experience of Balastagin, his age, 43. The youth of Cuello, 20. His height, his explosive overheads, 6'4", 6'2", victory. Hola a todos, nada, os invitamos Fer y yo a que os paséis esta semana por el Wizard Center. Estaremos jugando el Premier aquí en Madrid, así que nada, un gusto poder jugar en Madrid. Os invitamos a todos. They're inviting the public to come and see their matches. Yeah, absolutely. You wonder whether they will play LeBron and Gallan again, potentially on Friday. That's who they've lost to three times this year in the majors. The stats, however, the difference as often will be who can hit more winners. And Belastegin and Cuello hit 16 more winners than Solbez and Fuster, who played their part. That's a, a good start to the week. And we will know their opponents in the next round. It will be Yangas and Nieto who won their match to begin the day here in Madrid. So three matches down, there are three more to come. Second seeds, top seeds, and also the third seeds. Tapia and Gutierrez, they will round off the order of play. Coming up shortly will be Navarro and Dinano, who are the second seeds this week. Well, we are going to hear from the winners, Palastagin and Cuello. They are on court right now, and they are talking to Baba Vitantonio. Muchas gracias, querido Alberto. Gracias, Jorge. Ya estoy con los ganadores. Bienvenidos a los octavos de final. Fernando Velasteín, Arturo Coelho y, lógicamente, felicitaciones por este debut. Fernando, quiero saber con qué condiciones de pista se encontraron y si crees que hay margen de mejora, ¿no? en el Bueno, eh, hola. Eh, nos hemos encontrado acá en Madrid, que siempre ha sido un torneo muy rápido por las condiciones de calor, de altura sobre todo. Madrid ha sido siempre muy rápido. Pero este año nos encontramos con un Madrid muy, muy lento. Eh, Madrid, ahora en Premier los organizadores pueden vender la bola a, a las marcas que quieran. Y el primer torneo fue una marca, los otros dos fueron otra. Y ahora estamos jugando con otra pelota. Y la pelota que se ha elegido para jugar acá en Madrid hace que sea un pádel muy, muy Premier lento. Paddle. Entonces eh, quizás para jugadores con una potencia como la que veníamos en, en, los, en los torneos anteriores son condiciones muy distintas. Eh, a mí particularmente, eh, to bring que, to the que sea tan, so tan lento tampoco me gusta mucho. Yo prefiero que salga un poquito más para que los jugadores que le pegan bien a la pelota te la saquen y los que no le pegamos eh, podamos hacer nuestro juego. Cuando es muy, muy lenta o muy, muy rápida, los que no le pegan, le pegan y los que le pegan muy bien con la pelota tan, tan lenta van a perder su arma. Pero bueno, yo creo que cada torneo es diferente, nos tenemos que adaptar a las condiciones que hay. Y hoy yo creo que fue un partido con Arturo que fuimos de menos a más eh, en las condiciones different. que te decía. Y mañana nos espera un partido muy duro contra Jean Waikoki, que están jugando muy bien. Not his Arturo, estamos But en Madrid, aquí llegó Premier Padel, si bien es tu ciudad, bueno, estamos en tu país, lógicamente. One. Imagino que es muy especial, ¿no? Para ti, para tu familia, estar aquí prácticamente en tu casa. ¿Cómo estás viviendo esta semana? For you, bueno, la verdad que sí, family, hola a todos. To eh, a estamos cerquita de mi casa, una hora y no mucho más. Así que casi como que jugáramos en casa, One hour away from my house. Para mí es un torneo muy especial, so, como decía Fer, las condiciones son lentas, pero bueno, tenemos que adaptarnos a medida que va pasando el torneo. Mañana tenemos un partido durísimo contra Yang Wasikoki. Así que nada, feliz de estar aquí, feliz de estar en unos octavos de final y ojalá mañana podamos dar un pasito más. Muchas gracias, chicos. Buen descanso y nos vemos en la siguiente ronda. Con ustedes, chicos, para continuar con esta transmisión. We will see you tomorrow. Well, we will see you tomorrow as well. In terms of Belastegin and Cuello. This is how they did it, a 6-4, 6-2 victory. And you would expect, given the fact that they know their opponents, and it will be Yangas and Nieto who won at the beginning of the day, that that will be a, an earlier match tomorrow. So this is the top half.
half of the draw. But coming up very shortly, it will be the team at the very bottom. It will be Navarro and Di Neto. And your commentator for that one will be Barry Mills. <laughs>
Welcome back once again to Madrid, to the Wizink Centre and this Madrid P1 Premier Paddle event. Our fourth match of the day about to uh, get underway in the next few minutes on the centre court. Suskun and uh, Santana qualifiers up against Navarro and Dineno, two of the top players in the tour. And players who have been in some really sparkling form over this year. In the major events, they were the winners in Doha, runners up in Rome, semi finalists in Paris. And they bring all that form today against uh, the Italian Spanish combination. It's uh, Nicolas Suskun and Ade Santana. Combined age of 80, those two 36 year old Suskun and 44 year old Santana against uh, the Spanish and Argentine. Latest positions as we head into the uh, last 16. The round of 32 today, the 16 seeded teams all getting their bids underway. And we have the second seeds about to uh, do exactly that in Dineno and Navarro. The top seeds, Lebron and Gallan, the leading duo in the world. They will be on court later on. And also Tapia and Gutierrez, the third seeds. But right now, Nicolas Suskun behind his... Compadre for this one. Ade Santana. Made it through Collies and then made it through a tough match against uh, Sons and Alba yesterday in the opening round. Meaning in three sets. But a big cheer now for two of the biggest names in the sport. Martin Dineno leading out. His teammate Francisco Navarro, the Spaniard here on this team, based in Madrid. In fact, the two opponents are both based in Madrid. Dineno is still based in Buenos Aires, but obviously striding the world now as one of the leading protagonists on the tour. And uh, clearly a growing crowd in number around the arena aware of their presence and uh, the positions they hold in the game and the form we can expect we've seen some really good form already this second day the tuesday play so far on center court straight sets wins for uh, the three seeded teams coming in showing a different level to uh, some of what we saw yesterday some very long protracted matches between qualifiers and those uh, lower down the rankings, but um, certainly the skills of the, uh, the the elite very much in evidence already today. And hopefully we're in for more of that right now. See what uh, Suskun and Santana can do to stop them. So there'll be a five minute warm up, as is the way of things here. Well, halfway through the day's play, 16 matches to be decided, and we've already got uh, seven results. And we may have another one very shortly on court three, just along the way from this centre court. Court two, meanwhile, is uh, behind the big curtain at one end. Overseeing this one. And so far, all bar one result going according to the seedings today. Six seeded teams starting their bids and all winning so far. But uh, here we look at uh, Nicolas Suskun from who is 36 years of age. 
He's uh, 176 tall. Three centimeters shorter than his teammate Ade Santana, 44 years old. And clearly, with the fitness and the ability to uh, still mix it at uh, a high level, he's 114 in the rankings currently. His teammate is 85 in the rankings. But they're up against the uh, number fours in the world in uh, Francisco Navarro and uh, Martin Dineño. Dineño. Shock of hair is uh, very easy to identify. He's uh, 25 years of age, 175 tall. Alongside his 33-year-old uh, teammate, slightly taller, Francisco Navarro. Three minutes. Well, they beat the top seeds, LeBron and Gallant, for the title in Doha, Navarro and Dineño, in the first major of the season in Rome. They were runners-up to the same pair, having led by a set in that final. And then uh, they lost in the semis in Paris a few weeks ago to uh, Cingotto and Tello. Those two already through today but we are now in the other half of the draw with the uh, number two pairing against these two and the winners of this match will face either Cayetano Rocafort of Spain and uh, his compatriot Alvaro Capero or the 16th seed Ramiro Moyano from Argentina and the Spaniard Francisco Gil that match uh, will take place later on on court three. And already through the bottom half, we do have Stupacek and Lima, the fourth seeds, and the number sevens, Gonzalez and Ruiz. So the second seed's winning the toss, electing to serve. One minute, one minute. Five minutes of uh, preparation for our fourth match of the day. things going in this round of 32 clash direct from Madrid great to have your company great to have the company of uh, so many fans now coming into this arena the numbers building day by day no doubt through the week towards the final on Saturday huge prestige in the Spanish capital this uh, spiritual home of the sport to win this title the inaugural P1 event in Premier Paddle I'm Barry Milnes lucky enough to be in the comms box for this one and uh, to have your company as we watch now for our fourth match of the afternoon. Let's see how competitive Suskun and Santana might make it against Navarro and Dineño, who are the second seeds, the world number fours individually. 
but a formidable unit to deal with. Choice of the uh, lower pressure ball here at altitude, slower court conditions, so it may have uh, some bearing on how things are played here. And it will be Martin Dineno to set the ball rolling. Moving forward, taking up the pole position towards the net. And uh, in sync straight away, these two, with that play. Zero. 40 love. Hey. Go. Go. Navarro. And that'll do for starters. Confident hold to love. Go. First game. Quick to uh, communicate in each point. Find the right position, use the right shot, make the right shot selection. Al servicio, Dai Santana. Santana now serving. Quince cero. Fifty left. Treinta cero. Thirty left. Cero. Forty love. Hueco. Santana Suescun. Hueco iguales. Subtle play with the overhead. And dominating again, making their opponents move into difficult corners. That was really clever. Just opted for the, uh, the softball down the middle rather than hammering it. They didn't expect that. Thirty love. Really 
good technique on that volley from Di Nenio. Attacking the ball. That's the uh, slice to keep it so low off the court. Lob. Not quite the end result there. Santa gets it. Navarro 30, was 15. hoping for. Escape the cage and bring it back, but slight too tricky Marenta for him. As quick as he 40, still is. 15. Just deceived him with the way it came over. Actually, he'd gone too far. <laughs> Suskin got in involved very quickly there. 40, 30. No. Juego. Navarro. Drive smash there to uh, work it off. His opponent's panel forced the error and ensure that they uh, hold again. 2-1 their lead first set. Hearing a lot of noise as well from uh, court three during that last game because uh, it's got very tight, very close in a deciding set. The 14th seeds, Gutierrez and Rico, 4-5, they trail on serve against Diestro and Fernandez, the young Spanish duo. So uh, pretty good for starters here between Baisuskin and uh, Santana with no unforced errors yet. Decent number of winners. Like no break point points for either side so far. Tiempo. Well brought back. And just too long in the end from Santana. Zero fifteen. Law fifteen. A really good move there from Navarro. The cage. Zero trenta. Lap thirty.
up there. But ultimately, he's tagged by that finishing shot from Denenio. Really good rally. Such patience. You have to be so aware all the time of the ball flight, the movement of your opponents, and where you can hurt them like that. Just too far off the volley from Denelio. As the Siskin tries to hold on to this serve. Break point saved. Two more right here. He's unlucky there. Net caught. The apology from Denenio just varied the flight of the ball and it catches him out. So the breakthrough made. Second seeds now with a 3 1 lead. <laughs> 15 0. 15 love. Certainly been noticeable the matches today, watching the top players, how they've used the uh, the mesh sides of the court. More than perhaps we saw yesterday. <laughs> they've also used the net court a bit like that. But using the mesh, of course, that's where the, the bounce, the rebound can catch you out. Thirty-fifteen. Intercepted really well. Taking time away there from Delaney, not allowing him chance to get back for that oh, great work Navarro doing such a good job and ultimately yeah acknowledgement from their opponents his reaction to that 40 30 and that was the perfect finish behind it Again, with a powerful play nice. off the overhead. The shape on it as well, just working this around Denenio, excuse me, around Navarro. Well, some debate. Uh, claiming a let or were they claiming a... Yeah, it's the bounce where that landed. Did it catch the back of the line? Oh! Out of the cage, off the fence, off the net. Still in the point. Great defence. 
until the last moment, but that again was just beautifully worked. To putting the pressure on, he did very well there just to flick it back, but then he's got to come back quickly. Full blooded smash from close quarters off the back wall, back over the net without being touched by the opposition. That'll do nicely for a fourth game for the second seeds. They're up 4 1 in the first set. Seventeen winners already in five games from the uh, leading this one. Pretty impressive work and only three unforced errors, converting on one of their two break point opportunities. And uh, they face no smashes themselves. They've used the smash eight times. Again, a leading team showing it. Different skill set, uh, different class. Quick reactions. Navarro and fine fettled and then you're doing fine work beside him. Didn't Love catch it clearly, go, it goes on to the uh, side wall. And the trouble building for the uh, qualifiers here. Every shot with purpose from those two. Not just the last Zero one, but the volleys. They've all got Law 40. something on them. Meant with real purpose. And they have three more break points. As quickly as that, they're up 5-1 in the first set. I mean, they just look so sharp and yet so calm in the midst of the, uh, the competition. Always alert, very quick to react, but not rushing themselves. Frustration for uh, Ade Santana. Well, there, but ultimately, they can't keep it going much further. Suskin pivoting around with this ball and made sure he made good contact to come back.
40 love. Another one that's long landing on the uh, the wall before it hits the ground and the point lost means the set is almost done as well. Set points now, three of them. Navarro and Dineno looking mighty fine already here in Madrid. That's a good smash. 40 15. I think it might go out of the cage and to come back in, but another set point chance here for them. Is beautifully shaped. The spin taking it up over the cage and out of play and out of reach. And the set is done already. Blink and you missed that one. 6 1. Second seeds looking in great shape here in the second round. Carry on as you are, you'd imagine. We'll have a team chat, but not doing much wrong so far. 6 1. Second set to get underway. So far on the centre court today has been a, pretty much a procession for the uh, seeded teams coming into the competition now after their first round buys. Dineño, but that uh, was into the space. Too much left there. Thirty love. doing well to at least get uh, one volley back off the drive. But he's not going to reach that. First game on the board, it's a start if they are going to make their way back here.
He loves to use that shot. He shapes up as if he's going to hit it really powerfully. And then soft balls it down the center. Tough to try and recover from that. But this time he does light it up with the pace. The force of that shot. Dirty love. Really good mix. Not many mistakes. Crowd absorbed in the skill set of these two. Muscles another one. Juego. And, uh, yeah, tucking in again. New balls, please. He's pretty emphatic. One all. Have a little flick back, and then his teammate takes over. He's Lock enjoying in. this, isn't he? Leaping off the deck to uh, power that one for the winner. So good, really impressive display of powerful smashing. Zero trenta. Lap thirty. Francisco Navarro. How can these two prevent him doing much more of that? Zero cuarenta. To the side wall. Love won't do. Three more break points for these two. Juego. Dinero Navarro. And it is very rapidly running away, it seems. From Suscon and Santana, Navarro and Dinero. Up a set and now a break, 2 1. And the applause you can hear and see from the fans there is uh, for the outcome on court three. Gutierrez and uh, Rico, the 14th seeds, have managed to come from a set down. They lost the opening set 6 1, but they took the second 6 3 and ultimately 7 5 in the decider against Fernandez and Diestro. So another seeded team through to the last 16. Coach suggesting that they uh, should remain patient and uh, perhaps play a little closer to the net. But really fine tuning for uh, the second seeds. Obviously wanting to build 
a good foundation to this week. Such a prestigious event in the spiritual home of Paddle here in uh, the Spanish capital. Two one. Quince zero. Fifteen love. Just, just a bit too much curve on that one. Right onto the mesh. So they don't want to lose focus here, having been so good so far. Yeah. Deep and low, difficult. For Suskun to deal with. A good serve there from Navarro, bringing the game back his way. Forty thirty. Juice. Well, a juice, and it's been a rarity on these second seeds so far. Really good move from Denania. He was uh, defending, but came back straight away towards the net, got in a good position, and worked this into a tricky place for it. It's just going to try and handle there. Go. And no, no, turn to do exactly the same in the forecourt. Three vueltas a uno. Three games to one. Down nicely. 15 lap. Treinta cero. Thirty lap. Cuarenta cero. Yeah. Good smash. Forty lap. And that was as well, so a nice hold to love there. And nice Santana able to get their second game with a good help from his teammate in the second set. However, they are still a break behind at 3 2. Premier Paddles partnered with the World Health Organization Foundation to raise awareness about mental health in the sport. Brand new partnership, the very first sports partnership that the WHO Foundation has undertaken. And together they'll be looking at raising awareness and visibility about the importance of mental health in sport and in future tournaments looking at fundraising for specific mental health causes and initiatives. Tiempo. 
straightforward progress so far for the second seeds. Champions in Doha, runners-up in Rome and semi-finalists in Paris. Francisco Navarro and Martin Denegno here serving again. 3-2. Control at close quarters. 15 lap. Not easy to maintain. It's a real strength of his game. The overhead. 30 lap. Does it? In a variety of ways. This one. Good pace, but also the depth and the shape on it. 40. Forty lap. turn to shine there. Forty fifteen. Practicing again, but uh, not quite right with that one. Desperately trying to catch up with it, Santana, but he was always ahead of him here. The power of this one. Four games to do. Another game in the pocket for Francisco Navarro and Martin Denegno. On the volley, Denegno, excellent. Back behind. Siskin. Seizing on the moment again. Looking very sharp. Lap 30. Forced them back. All over them like a rash. And they're being rushed out of the draw here. Almost through, and it's taken very little time to reach a very strong position as they now lead this second set, five games to two. minutes to be in this uh, commanding lead almost double the number of winners and certainly the smashes have played a big part as we see a replay of another one from Navarro frequent breaks of their opponent serves four out of the six Points converted. And the way things have been panning out today, the uh, seeded pairs with their buys into this second round, but the vast majority who've played so far all advancing. It's 
So it's shaping up for a really high quality second half of the week. Of course, the seeds will start to face each other from tomorrow. Set of Kinsen, lot 15. We got it. Can he get that? No. That's the trouble. Having to chase back and his teammate close by. There's a lot of ground then for Denania just to make sure he put the ball into. <laughs> Didn't come back as he hoped. No, nope. he hit it wide. 15 14. So break points. Can they convert one of these? They can. Santana Suescun. Suescun doing very well against Navarro there, who is broken for the first time in the match. It's 5 3. Yeah. Paddle on the ball not working as he wanted there. And they're uh, close to defeat now. Quince treinta. Fifteen thirty. Again, he's having a, a look at the wall. As if to say, it doesn't come off there very well. Not as I'm expecting. It's a, a great setup here in Madrid. And although it may be a slower conditions, of course, it brings a, a different skill set to bear. A lot of thought with a lot of energy required to uh, play some of the rallies we've seen already this week. And they're certainly doing a good job, Suskin and Santana, are trying to close the gap. They do close it by one more game, and they're only one behind here. Good run all of a sudden for the qualifiers. Important time for the second seeds to really focus for the next game at the sit-down. It's only added some respectability to the scoreline with their surge in the last few minutes. So can they make more of this position now? Te inventan una jugada. 
pero esta es escucha bien. Totalmente. Pero escúchame, yo le juego el globo, le juego a Martín y él me juega el gancho acá así. Sacamos esa jugada. Ahora que tenemos que esquivar, pero sí. A suggestion from the coach that they perhaps need to play more to the left side. They've got so much experience. Let's go see what we can do here. Got up to it well, De Nuno. 15 left. Let's serve. Really good Bandeka. And now the uh, full force by his teammate with the smash. But the uh, defensive smash of the overhead initially from De Nuno doing the job, taking the opposition out of a position. The determination, writ large there, and he's just caught him out with that extra width. It brings them to match points. Short and sweet, very good start from these two. The second seeds in the draw, two of the best in the world, and showing. The competitors, a thing or two today on Centre Court in Madrid. Really nice start. They'll be very happy with that, I would think. Of course, they'll look to make improvements, but you can't win the tournament at the start of the week. You can certainly lose it. <laughs> and another one close by. Getting a kiss there. It's a souvenir from the afternoon, but a really nice. moment from Martin Di Nenio. Well, you can see how many fans are um, really absorbed now in this sport. And plenty of them gathering uh, close to the players on the far side as I look on this uh, court from our comms position. Very good work from the second seeds. That was a pretty neat and tidy, despite a brief surge from their, their rivals on the court today. Suskun and Santana, a lot of experience, a lot of determination. Came through the qualifiers, came through the first round in three sets, but they were outplayed, no question, today in round two. And so it is the second seed who move through to the last 16, the third round this week of this Madrid Premier Paddle. P1 event. Good interaction between the players and the fans, young and old. All ages as uh, they get themselves in the spotlight here in Madrid. So Navarro and Di Nenio through, and uh, yeah, we either Rochefort and Sapero, Spanish duo, or perhaps the 16th seeds, Moyano and Gil, they will be in action later to decide which one of those two teams will face Navarro and Di Nenio tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> 
pongo así, toca vos, a ver. Así. Así. Oh, we will hopefully get the thoughts of the uh, two winners very shortly. <laughs> and a lot of popularity and support here. <laughs> which is great to see for a sport that's growing so quickly and uh, getting the spotlight here in Madrid this week. And if the second seeds are pretty important, you can bet that the next seeded pair on this court will get a huge ovation, huge welcome. Juan Lebron and Alejandro Galán. Both from Spain, they are the best in the world. They've had a huge success this year in Premier Paddle. <laughs> Champions in Rome, of course, and also in Paris. They'll be in action very shortly. But there, the numbers on this match we've just seen: 53 winners from Navarro and Dineno. A dozen unforced errors. The smashes, particularly from Navarro, were a key part of that contest. 6 1, 6 4. They'll be liking that score. Very shortly after they've had their photos taken on the court. And we will uh, get the thoughts on their success today. They'll come round the uh, far side of the net now. And uh, in a moment, we'll be uh, chatting with Barbara Vitantonio, who is uh, there ready to talk to them very shortly. Let's hear from them all now. Muchas gracias, querido Alberto Bote. Bienvenidos a los octavos de final. Martín, Paquito, con este debut aquí en el Wissing Center. Imagino que también para ustedes será especial. Bueno, estamos en tu país. Así que imagino que, tenga, que tenés que tener esos condimentos especiales para compartir con nosotros. Y también después quiero saber cuáles fueron tus primeras sensaciones aquí en esta pista. Bien, es un placer jugar aquí en Madrid. Porque, Talking bueno, about feelings of uh, playing in his own country. Adoptados, así que estamos más que felices de jugar aquí en casita. Y nada, las primeras sensaciones muy buenas. Eh, me gusta la pista, me gusta More than eh, happy with la bola, me gusta mi compañero. Good me feelings, gusta, we like the court, the ball. Que se todas las condiciones para que hagamos un buen torneo porque we'll las sensaciones well. del primer match fueron muy buenas ante una gran pareja como Suez Kun y Adai. En tu caso, Martín, contame match. cómo te adaptaste a la pista, si te gusta, es casi la primera pregunta obligada que le hago a los jugadores, porque, claro, es el primer evento indoor que hace Premier Padel. Claro, sí, bueno, a cada torneo nos tenemos que ir adaptando, How siempre adapt to playing bien, indoors for the first time. Eh, y con buenas sensaciones, sobre todo, la verdad que nos Premier da mucha paddle. confianza, todos los partidos son distintos, así que, nada, contento de haber hecho un, un gran partido contra una pareja buenísima. I like it, all the matches are, are Perdón, very different. lo vamos a intentar hacer igual o mejor, ojalá, y, bueno, a descansar y a darlo todo, siempre. Claro. claro que sí, siempre. Vamos a cambiar ahora un poquito del español al inglés. We are going to switch from Spanish to, to English. Well Could you tell us, please, your feelings, your first feelings to play here in this court? Every time I speak English, <laughs> there are so many people that, that laugh a lot, but yeah. no problem, no problem. <laughs> uh, I can try. Uh, no, it, it was a pleasure, it's a pleasure to stay here in Madrid. It's our home. Uh, a lot of players live here, and for us it's an authentic uh, pleasure to, to play here. The first match against Adai and, and Sesco was very tough because they were playing very good. Uh, but from now, we are the feeling very good. I think that we have to do our best to, to be a, a very tough couple. Uh, and then tomorrow uh, again and again and then until the final, hopefully. So uh, thank you everybody to come here. It's not easy to stay in Madrid in August. <laughs> so uh, we are very glad uh, to, to all the public to stay here. Oh my God, but your English is really, really uh, good. Congrats. It's fluid, more fluid, it's more fluid. But <laughs> well, better and better. <laughs> Con esta sonrisa de Paquito y también de Martín, les doy el pase. Ellos avanzan y nosotros avanzamos con la jornada y la transmisión de hoy. Yeah, certainly doing a good job with the, uh, the lingo there. Francisco Navarro, and he'll get better and better, won't he? If he keeps doing interviews, winning matches, we'll certainly give him the practice, the chance to do so. But, uh, yep, it's another straight sets win for another of the top teams today. 
Six one six four. There they are, bottom right on the draw sheet. And we're gradually filling in the uh, the round of sixteen encounters from this round of thirty two, the second round of the week. And it's very much uh, gone towards the uh, seeded duos in action, and you'd expect. Um, a fine start coming up very shortly. LeBron and Gallan, the top players in the world, up against Castillo and Bressel. That will be the next match for you to enjoy here, and you'll be able to do so in the company of Barry Cowan.
Well, welcome back. A beautiful city of Madrid. And we have the world's best now coming up. Match number five, day two. The Madrid P1 event here at the Weezing Centre. And so far it's gone to the form guide. All four seeds have been victorious in straight sets. What of the best pair in the world. And you would expect they will get a tremendous reception when they walk out onto court. Juan Lebron, Alejandro Gallan. The champions in Paris a couple of weeks ago, they were electrifying in their title. And they were able to, to win. And what a match-up it's going to be for their opponents. They were talking about it last night, Castillo and Brussel. The wild cards, they won a match enable them to get a wild card into the main draw and now they're able to put their game on the court in a huge arena against Gallant and LeBron and if you've never watched before well they bring power they bring touch they bring energy as I say we come 100% to every single tournament so much to them if they were able to win the title here in Spain we'll have players very very shortly after the Lebron, Gallant, Castillo Bressel match it will be Tapia and Gutierrez against Lance and Perino who have that match on centre court so good applause here Excellent yesterday. Hail biter. There it was. A tough battle all the way in there. Victory 24 hours ago. And here is LeBron. And behind him, Gallan. two tie breaks so if they do have the advantage of having already played a match on this court Sponsors happy.
five minute knockout before the action begins. So it's 16 matches today on the order of play. up in 2020 before the pandemic began <laughs> taking the sport to new heights it's up to the rest to, to follow and with the strength improving the whole time and that's what the players have mentioned the opportunities they've got with these big events the increase in prize money the increase in exposure is a left-hander family and friends to support them. Well, we know that Galan and LeBron will. Yeah. The draw really starting to take shape. The last 16 tomorrow, quarterfinals Thursday, semi-finals Friday, and then the final on Saturday evening. Couple more minutes, and then the action will be underway. Segunda ronda de cuatro, al mejor de tres sets, con tiebreak. A la izquierda de la silla, Daniel Bressel y Pablo Castillo. In progress. Court three. They are early stages of their match two all in the opening set. And then on court two, Ramirez and Semler who watched them last night. Finished that was, but great scenes. They did brilliantly to recover. One minute. Tough match, but they are a set up Ramirez and Semler, although they're three love down in the second set. That is the third match 
on court two. So that's all the action we have at the moment here at the Wheatig Arena. This the ultimate test. I had to win a tournament to get a wild card into the P1 event here in Madrid. They had a big win yesterday, 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. They were looking forward to this battle. Castillo and Brasel against the world's best pair. World number one, the champions from Paris a couple of weeks ago, champions from Rome in the second and third majors. Barry Cowan in the commentary box. So it'd be interesting to see the energy that they come with early on, with it being their first match. So Galan to begin, he will serve first. Al servicio, Alejandro Galan. Different conditions to Luego. Paris indoors here in Madrid. He begin. <laughs> Zero King Sir. Law 15. Chance opening game. Lap 30. What a boost this will be. 15 30. 15 30. That almost has to be perfection. And that brings extra stress. Trente iguales. 30 old. Big moment, break point opening game. Oh, that's placed to perfection. Iguales, juice. Straight down the middle with no pace. Galán Lebron. Yeah. 
Wego Galan Lebron. Well, the features about their paddle is how Wego hard Wego they hit game. the ball. So an opening game where they had to save a break point and come through it. Al servicio, Daniel Bressel. Just the leap. They never feel safe when they're lurking, prowling at the net. Decker Zero is aggressive. Lap 30. Did very well. Brasso. Well, they had a great point in the opening game. Now they've got to save three on their own serve. Fifteen forty. There is the early break. That's unfortunate for Castillo and Brussel. Oh, that's the tough test that they are up against this evening. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Quince, forty, fifteen. Quaranta, trenta, forty, thirty.
Fuego. Galán Lebron. Looking good so far. Start of their week Lebron, in Madrid. Tres Juegos a cero. Three games to love. That early break of serve. Three love. To uh, Lebron and Galán. <laughs> Just saying that they cannot defend the whole time, otherwise they're not going to make any points. So, so maybe that's just an indication of how they want to play for the week. Club 15. Yeah, they play the best players or the best pairs. They shrink the core. They make you feel uncomfortable just by their presence. 0 30. Club 13. Quince treinta, fifteen thirty. Forty. Another bright point. Do secure the second break of serve already, Pero and we look back of how big that opening Porque game was when they had the break point, had the chance. And Gallant and LeBron are cruising. Quince zero. Fifteen love. Zero. Thirty love. Beautiful touch. Thirty fifteen. Part of 
the uh, M3 Academy are Galan and Lebron. Serve. They had the break point in the opening game. Grande, bro, well, this time the they do break. Galan serve. That's well played. Beautiful, instinctive, intelligent play from Castillo. And they're on the scoreboard. <laughs> Tempo. To play with a lot of attention, a lot of focus if one goes down the middle, that's fine. into this match. and the power that there was just staying firm at the net, being resilient. Lab 30. Just the way through them.
15 30. 15 30. Ball, moving forward, moving back. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching. Always anticipating. 30, Luckily to come. Waiting patiently for that ball can put away. Times has yes. Castillo. There's another one. Yep. This game at him too quickly. Cero. Fifteen love. Still in play. Oh, almost had too much time in the end. 
30 lap. Trenta quince. Thirty fifteen. Been a few sloppy errors, but that's understandable. It's the beginning of the week. Twenty wallets. Thirty all. Trenta, trenta. 40, 30. Again, Galan serving, saving the break point. They did lose serve at four love, but they've been in control. It's in control as the score suggests. Set point. That's a good way to finish. Six one. Values opening sets. One of those that, if you are, stay on your side. Want to be on here as long as possible, and you start to feel more comfortable with what's coming the other end. Six-one opening set. Top seeds. Vamos, Sí, pero al final sabes con la víbora es muy difícil en algo. Puedes hacer daño que te quede, pero, pero. Acá es difícil manejar. Tiempo. Had the discussion. Few tactics. Ready to go again. Second set. Six one. Servicio. Opening set. Castillo. Castillo now. Serving. For the first time, set of keys here, placed two lock fifteen here from Galan. Quince iguales. Fifteen all. Trenta quince, thirty fifteen.
Vente qual è? Perdio. Points are Castillo and Purcell. Another bright point. So marketable. Galana Lebron. in oh he didn't reach it a really entertaining point all over the court that's brilliant from Purcell They were clinging on for the majority of that point. Cero. Fifty love. Quince yeah. iguales. Fifteen all. Fifteen. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Trenta, forty, thirty. We go, Alan Lebron. Classy, can you once again? New boots. Alan Lebron. Dos juegos a cero. Two games to love. Twenty thousand tickets were sold at the beginning of the week. They certainly expect more to come through the gates. Some crowd in for a Tuesday evening. Zero quince. Lo fifteen. Mr. Mianas. 
Sergio Trenta. Lap 30. It's just growing sport in the world at the moment. It's huge in Spain, second biggest sport in this country. Madrid to Argentina next week. A major to come in Mexico. He was going to get that. I thought all for the world. Brasal was going to reach it. He's a good leap. 15 40. From Gallant. Just agonizing. to their serve and looking like another break. Juego. It is Lebron. set and three left. Lebron Garan. Tres huecos on set up. Cruising. Bringing the love. Got no answers. Have for Bristol, Bristol and Castillo to the quality. Of their opponents. Estoy igual, están jugando. O sea, no, no. Sí, antes, sí, antes sí, han empezado sí. fallando más. Sí. De todas maneras, creo que hay situaciones que tenemos que evitar. O sea, aunque tú estés a gusto en el volea, volea son mejores. Pero han ganado dos por la volea, Dani, los dos que hemos tenido. No, yo he ganado una, Lebron allí. Es que eso da igual. Han sido, han sido dos bolas. Pero yo no digo ese duelo en concreto. Digo, o sea, en general, esa situación que lo tenemos que evitar. Lo cierto es que en el, el set también anterior hemos Pero hecho más quieres? tirando el globo, tirando el globo subiéndole cuando hay que subir pero hemos probado cosas diferentes o sea al, tú lo has subido yo le estoy tirando globo a esto también pero hay un momento en el que dejan de funcionar las cosas también porque ellos juegan bien y si ellos juegan bien y nosotros jugamos bien ellos van a ganar igualmente porque son mejores o sea, es complicado porque estos partidos son, son muy, muy exigentes podemos jugar bien y, y perder ese y un sello tiempo son los número uno son los número uno están experimentando lo que es like to play the very best Open their shoulders. Forty love. In the view of tougher tests later in the week. Oh. The last time Gallant served, he got broken. Cool 
as you like, but always one step ahead. mistakes yesterday but just a different type of level that's nice Going after it, they weren't able to chase it down. A few bright moments in the first set, even if they lost it 6 1. But this second set, well, it's really has drifted away from them very quickly. Five love it is. Just one more game required for that easy victory, which I will gladly accept. Yo quiero terminar. Sí, sí. Si eso, si eso, ahora, la más. Por para nosotros. Vamos a contención con todos los que se han dado. Pero ellos esperan que LeBron, que puede finalizar esto. Two, six, three, Kellan and LeBron. Oh. In Rome, Zero, six, four, a six, four, six, one victory in Doha. They started with a three set battle actually. Six, seven, six, two, six, two. Quince cuales? Fifteen all. Of experience 40 15. And there has been a golf in class. Couple of match points, well, good set, and there it is well, the first victory. And I will hope the first of five victories. Nice to 
experience Bashar Castillo this opportunity they were looking forward to it truth So they were in a hurry today. They were good. And now let's hear from LeBron and Gallan. Here they are talking on the court with Barbara Vitantonio. Claro, Alberto, porque es arrollador el paso en este debut de Ale Galán y de Juan Lebrón. Felicitaciones, chicos. Finalmente estamos en Madrid, estamos en el Wissing Center. Juan, si me permitís, empiezo con el local local, 100% local, por supuesto. Porque Ale, bueno, lo hablábamos también en la cabina, en transmisión con Alberto Bote. Hay muchos jugadores de madri madrileños, pero vos sos la referencia del pádel madrileño. Quiero saber qué tal esos nervios, cómo fue Madrid, debutar aquí en esta pista. Madrid, bueno, la verdad que tenía muchísimas ganas de, de estar aquí en Madrid. Después de tanto, tanto viaje, jugar en casa es, es muy emotivo y, y me llena de motivación. Y bueno, yo creo que lo hemos reflejado hoy. Hemos hecho un gran debut, eh, que creo que, que, que no siempre hemos conseguido llegar a nuestro mejor nivel en la primera ronda, pero hemos conseguido eh, bueno, entrenar eh, esta mañana y conocer las condiciones estando aquí en casa. Así que desde el inicio hemos hecho un gran papel hoy. Juan, hay un factor común que lo estoy charlando al menos en la primera entrevista con todos los jugadores y son las condiciones de pista, porque claro, es el primer torneo indoor de Premier Padel. Quiero saber, ¿cómo la encontraron, cómo se adaptaron y qué te parece? Bueno, al igual que tú bien haces la pregunta, yo creo que todo el mundo lo sabe que la pista aquí debe de ser rápida y no está siendo rápida por el tema de la bola, pero es lo que hay. O sea que la verdad que al fin y al cabo eh, es para los cuatro. Son unas condiciones que a mí me gustan, la verdad, porque no se gana la pelota en un tiro, se gana la pelota en siete, ocho tiros normalmente. Y eso es algo que es un buen reto para nosotros. Y claro, aún así, con la bola tan pinchada y tan lenta, pues tu mejor golpe a lo mejor no te premia. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Hay que esperar a lo mejor una o dos pelotas más hasta que te quede la pelota para definir. Igualmente, es un... Es un padel, va a ser un padel... Creo que en lo que se va a ver la semana es diferente a lo que estamos acostumbrados, como hemos visto en Italia o, o en París. Y, y lo mejor anyway, de todo esto es que para los cuatro y hay que adaptarse. Tal cual. Bueno, y de eso también Paris. charlaban en el banco, ¿no? Que pedían el trabajo de piernas, ajustar. Y la pregunta ahora es, ¿hay tiempo para adaptarse a las condiciones? Ustedes And como número uno, o sea, ¿hay tiempo de aquí hasta? Bueno, imagino que quieren llegar a la final. Bueno, eh, como dice Juan, esto es para los cuatro cuando estamos en pista, eh, la bola es así para todos y, y bueno, eh, al final creo que nosotros somos una pareja muy completa, tanto en juego como en físico como en táctica, creo que lo tenemos, eh, que somos bastante completos y, y, y nada, necesitamos estar al, a nuestro 100% y ser competitivos contra, contra todos. La última, Juan. ¿Vino tu familia? ¿Tenés amistades? Imagino que sí, por acá cerca. Eh, espero que vengan pronto, o sea, porque todavía mi hermana sigue ahí con el embarazo. 
Estaba ahí todavía y inestable, digamos, por cesárea, perdón por decir esto. Pero bueno, de aquí le mando un beso y, un, y mucho cariño. Pero nada, eh, sí, supongo que vendrá mi padre, creo que ya no se pierde uno. Eh, mi madre me vendrá un poquito antes de, antes de ir para el puerto, algún día que otro, pues arreglarme un poquito la ropa, ¿no? Pero, no. pero, pero es que estoy solo en casa, Bárbara, o sea que tengo que aprovechar, si bien tengo que aprovechar. No, pero bien, o sea, yo creo que vendrá también mi hermano, así que bueno, también... Hay muchos amigos y mucha gente aquí que, que nos acompaña y sobre todo también a favor de Ale, que, que está aquí en su casa. Seguramente es una de las parejas favoritas. Chicos, felicitaciones a descansar y a recuperarse porque están ya en los octavos de final. Alberto, nosotros seguimos porque tenemos hoy el último encuentro aquí en el Curso Central. Gracias. 6 love victory. A, a comfortable match for them. So, as they get through to the next round, they will play Silingo and Beloati in the next round. They had a 6-2 win in the final set earlier on today. So that will be Galan and LeBron against Silingo. And Beloati also wins for Navarro and Di Neno. But coming up very shortly, the third seeds, Tapia and Gutierrez against Ayats and Perino. That will be with you in around about five minutes time. So look forward to having your company then. But for now, a win for LeBron and Gallant.
Well, we've seen some real quality paddle today here at the Wiesink Arena. And the last match of the day coming up very, very shortly. Madrid P1 event. Augustin Tapia, Carlos Gutierrez, the third seeds from Argentina up against Arno Ayats and Dennis Perino. Really tough battle yesterday, did Ayats and Perino. 7 6, 6 4. They really had to dig deep. Ninth set point. They won the first set. They had plenty of match points as well. I think it was their fourth match point that they won. Today, there's no room for error against. Tapia and Gutierrez. Still a good crowd in. They really enjoyed the LeBron and Gala match. So this is where we are. The Tapia, Gutierrez, Ayat, Perino at the bottom on the left side. It's currently on court three. It's 6 2 4 3 to Arroyo and Sons. in the, the bottom section of the draw. And they entertained yesterday. The front, Ayats at the back. 22, 26 years of age. The taller one, 1 meter 85. There he is, Gutierrez. Two years of age. In fact, just 23 a couple of weeks ago. Born in Argentina, lives in Barcelona, does Tapia. Madrid, so he will feel at home here. Tienen dos revisiones por, por set, por cada pareja, y para que se estén informando. Cara Cruz. Ah, y una pregunta. ¿Quieren entrar, ¿Quieren entrar a pista hasta que yo no cante tiempo? ¿Cruz o cara? Cruz. Cara. Cruz, a la de ustedes. Sacamos. Muy bien. Hola, por favor. Don't forget the balls. Referee for this one. 
dropped off. So is that... Two Argentinians, one Italian and one Spaniard. players from other countries being represented it's very much a, a dominance of Spain and Argentina and Italian left-hander Perino First match of the week, so the, the advantage, slight advantage they have having already played a match. Can they catch Gutierrez and Tapia Cold? Three minutes, three minutes. Best of three sets, as always. It's just joining us for the first time this week. The conditions different here. It's not as quick, so it means you've got to rely on a lot more skill, not as much power. The players have really enjoyed the the conditions. It's more of a tactical battle, as Gallan and LeBron said in the post-match interview instead of maybe just hitting one shot to win the point it's got to be six or seven so it'll be interesting to see how this one develops Este es un partido de 16 avos de final entre los siguientes jugadores. A la izquierda de la silla, Denis Perino y Ornao Yat. A la derecha de la silla, Agustín Tapia y Daniel Gutiérrez. El partido se disputará al mejor de 13 con Tybret en todos ellos. La pareja Perino Ayat ganó el sorteo y escogió servicio.
Very shortly, the match will begin. Straight sets all the way so far on centre court. This match, well, they don't know who they're playing yet because uh, Dos minutos para el inicio del partido. it's going to be the last match of the day on court two. Lille and Rico against Luque and Ricardo. Rico, the 11 seats. Luque and Ricardo, 7 6 in the third yesterday, 8 6 in the tie break. So nearly ready to go, final match of the day, Barry Cowan in the commentary box. Centre court here, Weezing Centre, Madrid P1 events, one of the Masters events on the International Paddle Federation Tour. Ayats and Perino up against the third seeds, Tapia and Gutierrez from Argentina, the experienced Gutierrez and his partner Tapia, the youngest player on the court. Three balls in play. The ball change will be after the first nine games and then 11 after that. Tempo. Al servicio, Denis Perino. Perino, to begin. Quince cero, Christine Love.
Welcome to the ring. Igual es Tapia. Number three. Gutierrez six. Turno servicio. This is the test that they're going to have this evening. Quince treinta. Fifteen thirty. Really decisive with those shots. He most certainly was. Ayat. Segundo servicio. Decker. Players just trying to get used to each other. Shot That's easy pickings for Tapia. And no mistake with that one. It's going to be the problem if you go for the, the big blow and you don't get it right, you will get punished. Segundo servicio. Atrás, 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 Good at the net from Ayat. So Perino hold serve opening game. Al servicio, Daniel Gutiérrez. Yesterday, where if uh, Ayat and Perino didn't win their match, they would have uh, had to play Tapia and Gutierrez. His nephew. Quinti iguales, fifteen all. Treinta quince. 
40 quinte, 40 15. Silky Gutierrez smooth Gutierrez. there from Gutierrez. One game going. Al servicio, Arnao Ayat. Ayat. That's a serve. Far end. Control there, Gutierrez using his experience. That's brilliant. Zero quinte, long fifteen. He just couldn't resist 15, it. Sure, he even made it that it was necessarily the right shot given where Tapia was hanging around. So first break points of the encounter. Brilliant. Probably the shot they least expected. He can put the ball on a string, can Gutierrez. Look at this quality. Mm -hmm. Heavy favourites coming in. And they are the ones who are the first breaker serve. Tapia, Gutierrez. Se te veía que estabas todo el tiempo con el dolor. Pero me doblé mal, ¿eh? ¿Sí? Sí. Pero ¿cómo te sentís bien? Ahora. Pero fue el dolor del momento y ahora ya. Vale, perfecto. 
también hay que dar un 2, 3 lobos con rebote, rebote con rebote de la pelota normal voy mejor con rebote cuando el rebote viene fuerte y tiro el lobo se me va a largar ¿cómo? ¿Con el cuando el rebote en la pared es fuerte sí. tiro un lobo largo porque no cierro rápido es como que no para de avanzar te quedas sin terminación <coughs> no avanza mucho siempre, siempre... no y lo calculo con, lo calculo normal pero se me va a siempre largo no sé sí, el cálculo es normal pero te vuela mucho más después con rebote normal lo controlo mejor que con rebote fuerte o con sin pared esa es mi sensación los puros globos van bastante bien bueno te vas a ir haciendo Che, cuando tiren uno de los globitos si da rebote con la pared lo sigan aprovechen y penales y funcionan ahora dale así aprovecho tiempo dale bien ¿eh? vamos a hacer vamos, vamos a hacer. Al servicio, Agustín Tapia. Tapia serving. 2-1, they have to break. Love. Oh, they are cruising. 30 0. Thirty love. Like the heavy favourites that they were at the start of the match. Did he make it? Cuarenta treinta, forty thirty. Not going to make any mistake with that one. Three games, two. Been good so far. Anything that's been asked of them, they've been able to come through with. Impressive paddle. Three one. It's going to get the treatment it deserves. Zero quinte, la fifteen. Been smash makes such a difference. Extra spin on the ball. 
15 iguales. 15 all. Second break. Looking very relaxed, tap it. Enjoying himself. Thirty iguales. Thirty all. Tapio is coached by Pablo Crosetti. Athletics accepted as one of the best paddle coaches in the world. And also coaches Perino. Iguales. Views. Magnificent, he knew always what he wanted to do, just waited for it to come off the cage. That is outstanding, way too good. Cool as you like. Tapia, cuatro juegos a uno a su favor. Break your serve. Difficult. Quality. Gutierrez. And tap it. 19 minutes. 4 1. Look at the. Winners 20 to 14, just a couple of unforced errors. They've been strong and they have a stranglehold on the match.
15-0. Christine Law. Extraordinary hand skills. And almost. Kitty Wallace. The most uncomfortable evenings. Selling the Kitty. 30 15. Quarenta quinte, forty fifteen. Juego Gutierrez Tapia, cinco juegos a uno a su favor. It's a bit of a masterclass we're seeing. Chugo. Got there. It's on the wrong side. Keep it zero. Fifteen low. Nice touch. The admiration for his hand skills, Gutierrez. What isn't coming back? Well played, Ayats. Make sure as you leap, you don't touch the net. Anything you can do, I can respond. 40, 15. Juego a Jan Perino. Gutiérrez Tapia, cinco juegos a dos a su favor. Five games to two. We get the second game on the board. Si el globo es bueno, sé yo. Sergio todavía sí. no hizo nada, Hugo ganó 7. Pero si el globo es alto y va a la línea, no se arraiga tampoco. Sí, pero yo ¿Cómo? llego. Juan. ¿Ya ha pasado? Las tres últimas. Llegué. Talking about the lob, the lob was high, it was great. Muy largo ahí. Si le pega y la gana. Por ese tío, para mí tiene que ser Sancho, Sancho no le va a pegar. ¿Para el Arnau? No, me fui para adelante y tiene un globo de volea. Fui para adelante y tiene un globo de volea. Vos siempre me vas atrás, culero. Yo digo después de ese globo que está de bolita. Pero bien, Polo, practicaste un montón y bien. 
poquito más. Pesada, ya sin pared, como no, no tengo problema. Está bien, no tengo problema sin pared. El, el problema es con pared. Este. No, no por, por globo. Se te pasa. Con pared se me pasa siempre, boludo. Por no la toco. Por ahí la reacción del vidrio es más rápida. Claro, boludo, eso es lo que se La pelota va y viene muy rápido y cuando la toco se me va a larga. Bueno, o se me va el globo, el globo largo o se me va a largo por abajo. Este wow. Che, vamos serio en este saque, ¿vale? Tiempo. Agustín, mete el primer saque. the wall and not without. Book end this opening set. Thirty zero. Thirty love. Cuarenta cero, forty love. Cuarenta quince, forty fifteen. Y primer set, Gutiérrez Tapia que ganan por seis juegos a dos. Six y gay, chichu. That's good stuff. And uh, yeah, as we know with that third seed, who's in class. And that was a bit of a, a show in the opening set. Strong. And they were in control really from very early on. 6 2 to Tapia and Gutierrez. va a ser clave, ¿eh? que se pare bien va a ser clave, recordate que vos, por el lado del pasar, la bola es un poco más pesada en cuanto a medio de tiro por el brazo, él hace mucho daño, ¿entendés lo que te digo, no? Que te ponga tres veces seguida para un gancho y que no pase nada, ¿entendés? Porque ahí se empieza a hacer un chicle el punto, ¿entendés? ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué decís? ¿De cuál? ¿Cómo? Le digo... Así es, es, es complicado porque, porque Dani maneja muy bien y no me deja meterme tampoco muchísimo en, en, en la volea, por ejemplo, y cosas así. O sea, yo a la mínima que doy un paso, me fija como sea. No pongas cara de ahora de... 5, no, te voy a dar 5, 0, va más. Mira la cámara y está así. O sea, así, mira, así. No, It's confirmation of the first set score, 6-2. What can they do? What will they be allowed to do? The strength of Tapia and Gutierrez. Tiempo. Hace un break con lo que hay y después si quieren. Segundo set, al servicio Denis Perino. Quince cero. Fifteen love. Started the match, they held their opening service game with Perino serving. Uh, 
were just waiting for it. They set the trap. 15 on. Court. Bola, por favor. Court just behind. Bola, por favor. Court. It's not a lot they can do, unfortunately. Then they're, they're not happy on court three. Played. 30 15. A couple of errors from Gutierrez. Weren't many in the opening set. Second service. Perino, a, a little bit uh, disappointed that he didn't execute this one. Yeah. Just like the beginning of the match, Perino holds on to his opening service game. al servicio Daniel Gutiérrez. The only shot Perino had was to just put it up as high as possible. Crayon skills stay alive in this point. As soon as he went, I had to have to take to the ball to his right. He was out of position for the next one.
40 15 40 15 segundo es servicio Juego Gutiérrez Tapia, un juego iguales, one game goal. Cero quince, lo oficin. This was the moment in the opening set where it got away from Ayat and Perino. Tiempo. Quince iguales, fifteen gol. Quince treinta, fifteen thirty. Quince cuarenta, fifteen. Corrección. No, segundo servicio. Couple bright points. Terrific. 40-30. So alert to what potentially might happen here. So actually got here in plenty of time. Smash that ball into the crowd. Hold on. Big game there. No, no. Bien, mira. Porque el otro 
que va tirando la vida y de pija, que va dentísima con mucho efecto cristal al lateral y se la pija hasta el lateral. Enreda mucho. Tiempo. Igual, ¿eh? Con intensidad y a buscar, ¿no? Venga, va, vamos, va. Vamos. Two one it is, or oh, one two if you're uh, Gutierrez and uh, Tapia. Tapia, the surf. He's absolutely deadly with that shot, Tapia. Trenta cero. Thirty love. Back again. Oh, lucky. 40 0. 40 low. He knew where he wanted to put it, just couldn't execute. Segundo servicio. Tapia, dos juegos iguales. Two, two game all. Uncomfortable so far in the six service games. Take that one. Good shot, but also a little bit of fortune. Pitillo. For Perino. Should be dead. Oh no! Oh, 
30 iguales. 30 all. The chance to finish the point. How costly could that be? Quarenta trenta, forty thirty. Can't quite believe they missed it. He turned away. Tap here, said no. Juego a Jet Perino, tres juegos a dos a su favor. Three games to two. Let's keep ticking off those games. So there was a got a Finley opening set. Not so in this one. in this set. Some of those errors that they're hitting in set two, they certainly didn't hit in the opening set. Oh, they got away with that one. 15 iguales. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. That sounds like a big game because the levels dropped and who's gonna come out of it? Another game on the board. Quarenta quinte. Forty fifteen. Hayats and Perino with tapping Gutierrez level drop that they will really need it to, to make a case and they haven't done that. That's a poor game. Three game all. Big game coming up. Quinte cero. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. 
15-30. Really problematic situation now for Ayat and Perino. Momentum in the last game, we've got to get through it. Good play. Big with the smash. 30 iguales. 30 all. And now it's his partner who responds with the same play. Done really well. Last couple of points. Iguales. Views. So often, no, we get a game like this. It's what happens the previous game that often is, that sets the, the ball rolling. Break point. Cancelled. Good paddle. Ventaja. Point number two. game at 3-2 it was a poor game from Ayats and Perino they didn't really have to work hard for it Gutierrez and Tapia and they break the next game look at that last shot it was a shot of real quality and they've broken Ayats and Perino serve for the first time in this second set and just two more games for victory
That one's not coming back. Zero thirty. Law sir. Brilliant. Cool as you like. Probably the shot he least expected. That was an excellent opening set performance. They weren't quite as good at the beginning of the second, but they found their best towards the end. And there is the first victory of the week for Tapia and Gutierrez. The third seed to get their cam campaign up and running. The straight sets victory. They know each other very well. Tapia and Perino. Argentinians. Extra couple of levels to go to. A couple of really nice touches from Gutierrez. A couple of big plays from Tapia. Going to be a force this week. A few of the top pairs have made a bit of a statement today. Uh, comfortable victories. Of course, everything's going to get tougher. And now, from now on in, through to the last 16, that will be the action tomorrow. Igualmente, vos ahora tiraste varios en diagonal y todos muy bien clavado, Agus. Bueno, bien. También es verdad que es el sitio donde más se puede empujar, como para que agarres un poquito de sensación. Al final del paralelo siempre estás a tener que pensar, pensar, pensar en frenar. Grass.
Por eso cuando tocas, tocas, no tiene un toque y no te tocas mal. Muchas pelotas te tocan mal. Yo lo que digo, la pelota puede salir más o menos, lo que sea, te lo come. Pero la pelota es mala. No digo, si se le pongo, se le mucho, ya no me da igual. La calidad de la pelota es mala. Muy mala. ¿Sabes cuando la pelota es buena? Vos jugás con una pena en Argentina. Bueno, sí, el día que. No, el día que sale una barbaridad, no importa, la pelota es buena. Sale mucho. O sea, a vos no te gusta que salga mucho, pero la pelota es buena. No, no, pero la pelota es buena. Claro, claro. La gente, ¿es buena o mala? No, buenísima la pelota. En algún momento sale mucho, pero es buena. Esta es mala. Y, y, mala calidad. De la presión, no, 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 podemos ir yendo, vamos a tirar una fotografía, hacemos entrevista aquí. Claro, claro. ¿Vale? Just enjoying their chat with the coach. Photographs. We'll hear from them. Barbara, Pete Antonio. All smiles. Gutierrez and Tapia. So the match stats, what well, we have, 20 extra winners for Tapia and Gutierrez. That was a good performance. Didn't have a break point, Ayats and Perino. Tapia and Gutierrez broke four times of the 10 break points they had. So that was a good performance. Now let's hear what they thought of their two-set win with Barbara Vitantonia. They are on court. And let's hear from them right now. Muchas gracias, querido Alberto. Están ya Sanjo y Agustín en los octavos de final de este P1 de Madrid, que aprovecho para recordar que va a comenzar a las 14 y no a las 16, como estaba estipulado, tanto octavos de final como cuartos de final. En definitiva, felicitaciones, chicos, por este debut. Empiezo Tomorrow con vos, Sanjo. Venimos hablando four. de las condiciones de pista, de la bola lenta. La verdad es que la sensación de afuera hoy en este partido que ustedes pudieron implementar no se vio What tan lenta la bola. Decinos cómo se sintieron justamente con estas condiciones y qué tipo de estrategia pudieron bueno, desarrollar. Bueno, eh, buenas tardes, primero que nada. Eh, creo que la bola, más allá de que sea lenta o rápida, a mi punto de vista no es una bola cómoda de jugar. Uh -huh. ¿no? Más allá de si nos ha tocado jugar en, en pista muy rápida o la bola muy rápida. Mi punto de vista, aunque sea lento, no tengo la calidad taste. de la bola, para mí, es mi punto de vista. Eh, espero que sea una <laughs> crítica constructiva. A mí me parece que la, que la bola no es una bola buena. Eh, después hay que jugar, hay que jugar con todas las bolas. Nosotros hoy creo que empezamos con muchas dudas. Eh, los dos vivimos a la altura del mar, tanto Agustín como yo en Barcelona. Eh, el Agustín en Barcelona, yo en Alicante. Entonces venir a Madrid, encontrarte con 700 metros, la bola volaba. We both live on sea level, so coming from playing in those conditions to Madrid and then Barcelona, so coming to Madrid is different. Maybe change of weather, the change of pareja, si bien vos estuviste en Doha, no estaban como esta pareja, la número 3 del mundo. Quiero saber cuáles son estas primeras sensaciones para vos que estás viviendo en esta nueva etapa de Premier Padel. Bueno, much, muchísimas gracias. Eh, la verdad que sí, que tenía muchas ganas, teníamos muchas ganas de jugar juntos también acá con, con Sanjo. Y bueno, la verdad que to todo muy bueno. Premier la verdad, desde, desde que llegué me trataron genial. Así que nada, solo disfrutar. Since I've been here, everyone has treated me amazingly. Partido a partido, hay que acostumbrarse, como dijo Sanjo, a la bola. Está para todos, las condiciones están para todos y esperemos seguir muchos días más. Conditions are the same for everyone. And we hope to stay. 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 We hope to stay
es imposible, es muy difícil hoy por hoy tener cinco títulos con, el, con lo parejo que están los dos circuitos. Eh, pero bueno, nosotros no nos conformamos, creo que hemos crecido muchísimo como pareja, creo que Agustín está demostrando una madurez terrible, eh, yo sigo aportando mi granito de arena, que es eh, la experiencia, para eso tengo las canas, y, Very good y nada, seguiremos work. a ver si mi físico sigue aguantando, y podemos dar pelea durante todo el año. Gracias chicos, repito, bienvenido, And, y uh, bueno, siguen, sí, porque ya están en los octavos really de final de este T1 de Madrid. Alberto, te dejo el cierre de otra jornada maravillosa aquí desde el Wissing Center. So uh, we will see them in action again tomorrow. Tapia and Gutierrez. That's confirmation. The final match of the day on the centre court. 6-2, 6-3. I guess the one thing that the top players always have is they expect high levels in themselves. So even if they do put in a very good performance, they'll probably find areas that they can improve. So the draw really is starting to take shape. Last last 16 tomorrow. But, uh, the fact that Gutierrez and Tapas are through in straight sets, as were all the other seeded players on the centre court. I hope you enjoyed our coverage today from Madrid. Of course, we'll be back for more tomorrow from Barry Cowan here in the commentary box and all the team. We'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for more world-class paddle. Bye for now.